Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots. Um, everyone's back for the continuation of the one that we uh, we finished halfway through, I guess, kind of. Um, and Woo! Faulty, take it away please, you're the, you're the captain. Right, so where were we last time? So you guys, uh, you guys have been given some news, what, that Dimmy had been kidnapped, right? Mm. We saw him. And, uh, we saw him be taken to this castle. We? You saw him being dragged off by two shady men. Mm. And uh, you're in front of this castle. The castle consisting of seven crumbling towers of different sizes and, uh, and different heights. Mm. The upper stories all varying in different states of collapse. Um, yeah, you've gone up. You've cleared out some goblins. You hear rumblings and things. There are some goblins, some orcs that you're killing. You're trying to find Dimmy at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, there, there, there'd been a big explosion, hadn't there? There was like a something exploded yeah. or something. There was. Also, your stream is paused. I don't know what you've got to. Uh, how you can uh, unpause that? Do I need to? It said you've minimised the application sit tight. Hmm. But that's what it's saying. But now better. That's perfect. Yep. Um, if I click off of it, does it do it? Is it fine? I don't know, it's fine now. So yeah, so we'd all we'd all jumped out. Yeah, we all jumped out, didn't we? We all, we all jumped out the window and something exploded. Was it a goblin, like a goblin wizard or something exploded? Yeah. So there's a goblin wizard that exploded. And, uh, is Jimmy and cutting fire. out for anyone else? You are cutting out, Jim. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> lower your lower your mic sensitivity and we'll do the recording again. Take two seconds. Well, I'm I'm not cutting out on my screen, so on my stream, so it's 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 not. He just cuts out again. That's yeah. not so bad. <laughs> Mid. Yeah, it's not so bad for you guys. It's just in the Discord, so he's fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll, I'll I'll try and fix it, but we can carry on. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's what's happened at the moment. You're currently clearing through a castle. The alarms have been alerted, by the way, from that explosion. Hmm. Mm. What kind mm. of alarm? I don't know. You hear goblins and orcs shouting in the distance. Don't look at me. I'm not crying. What do you guys want to do? So when we jumped out of this tower thing before it exploded, was there a little bit of a distance to the ground, or is it just walk right in? Walk can, right in. Can you hear me? We can hear yes. you. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. I won't cut out. I've just put it on push to talk to like. Then oh, there you go. Easy. Just make sure you actually press the button. Yes, I will. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna peek back in and see the carnage and the waste that was once a goblin wizard thing. So you peek back in. The uh, the flames have died down. They are ethereal flames, but the uh, the walls and the floor are spattered in blood. I will lick the blood off the walls. <laughs> Are you Jimmy's actually going to lick the blood off the walls? Yes. Isn't Jimmy still a sheep? Oh, oh yeah, I'm still I'm still a sheep. Yeah, so I'll definitely lick the, lick the blood off the walls then. <laughs> you got polymorphed, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I got polymorphed. Didn't you can sheep, leave it yeah. to the little goblin to remember that, right? Isn't that guy <laughs> over there still a sheep? And uh, until somebody inflicts some damage on you, Jim, you're stuck in the polymorph. Yep. Yep. I'll I look can out, I'll look some damage. <laughs> well, I shall say bah and lick the, lick the blood off the walls. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look, I'm gonna look down at uh, I'm going to look down at Daniel and go. There's never been a better opportunity, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I sneak up behind Jimmy with my dagger in hand. <laughs> Why is dagger the pet name for? No. Are you going to stab him? Uh. I'm I'm looking back at Trent asking, should I stab him? Of course. What yeah, the... I stab him. I stab him uh, in like uh, right above would would be the uh, the right arm. The... What the fuck is this? <laughs> make an attack roll. <laughs> He's gonna make an attack roll on a sheep. Yep. You gotta uh, see if you can break his armor class. His AC is eleven. Is, what, is, what is, is the sheep? Is the sheep fighting back? <laughs> What, the sheep's gonna sheep? fucking bite his is dick it, off, I tell you that for nothing. <laughs> is it a D6? Nope, D20 first. D20. Then add your weapon modifier for the dagger. Oh, I need to find that. Uh, wait a second. 
this. Uh, Oh, that's a pretty good emote. Hey, I like that okay. mm. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Oh, glorious. And I will defend. Thanks, Faulty. I will what a defend. leg end. <laughs> We're about to kill Spoiler Jim. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Death's incoming. Yeah, what the fuck is this? No, I'm not killing you. I mean, they could have literally, like, punched you or kicked you, and that would have broken you out of the polymorph, but unfortunately he's committed to the stab. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the team. You didn't ask anybody. Yeah, I, I asked Trent. Yeah, asked Trent. You That's asked Trent. Trent doesn't count. He's never going to say not to stab somebody. <laughs> Love a good stab. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jimmy acting all sheepish. So the what 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 should I add? E twenty for the roll, and then whatever yes. weapon attack modifier is. Uh, so the mech. To hit is yes. plus four. Cool. So roll a d20 and add four. Eight, eight, eight plus four. Uh, you just about managed to hit him, yeah. <laughs> so you uh, you lift up your dagger and you start to cry a little bit and you uh, you wipe no, the tears no, away with no, the dagger. Because no, you know what has to be done. And you, uh, you hold it up like that, wipe the tears away. No. Take a chunk straight down into his shoulder. No. <laughs> That's not what happened. I didn't and then cry. a poof happens and, uh, and Jim. You uh, you turn back into a human. All right. You don't even take any points of damage. Don't take any. Oh no, no points of damage. Okay. Helping. I well. was helping. Trust the king. <laughs> he was helping. Look, you're back to normal now. I'm still gonna oh, slap back. him instantly. <laughs> 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 I mean, if somebody stabbed me, I would definitely slap them at least. <laughs> stabbed you. You were a sheep. You were licking the blood of the walls. <laughs> Goblin and orc blood. That's what you were licking. Mm. That's you why did nasty. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, how's your stomach? You you feel you feel okay? I feel a little sheepish. <laughs> oh no. This uh, commotion is happening. Can you guys roll a um roll a perception check, please? Oh. Oh, uh, no, I can't. I rolled a two. You're very upset about being stabbed, Jim. Mm. Very upset. What do you roll for initiative? A D10 or D20 again? Perception. Uh, perception. If you look on oh, your perception. left I'm sorry, bar. okay. Oh. Seventeen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, what do you get, Dadle? Huh? Twelve. Right, none of you notice, unfortunately. Um, this point. Where is my layer? Seventeen, and she doesn't notice. Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah. Very no? sneaky. I got it too. <laughs> none the wiser. <laughs> uh, continue as you were. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, uh, Jim, go ahead. Go ahead and go inside. <laughs> okay. So, what what are we gonna do then? Should we? Should we? We were clearing. We were clearing this room by room, weren't we? So there's some loot yeah. around, but also there's you know there's the bad men that took Dimmy. So we should probably try and take out what's left of the uh, the baddies here. There were there were a couple of like um, chests in the room right before the. Uh... Before the goblin, no, the the orc shaman or whatever. Um, so like we could sneak in. That's just two rooms in. Yeah. Sneak in, look at those chests, and then get out. I think we should try and kill everybody before we look at the chests. We have. Who says you have to kill everybody? We have, we have to have kill everybody. Them. They We've might have Dimmy. We've cleared everything. We haven't cleared everything. Look at the map. Little half of the half of the rooms we haven't cleared. No, we've we've looked in the room uh, to the farthest down left as well. We haven't. Well, what was our original purpose for being here again? My mind, Are you I don't. Dimmy? Finding I... Dimmy. Oh yeah, so, Dimmy. So Dimmy had been, so Dimmy had been captured by the uh, the two shady figures. Mm. And, okay, uh, okay. Taken, taken away. The two. I, I, 
I've uh, looked in the room to the down bottom left. Yeah, and you told, looked in there, but you, and you told yeah. us it was clear, but it wasn't clear. It was clear. You think it's clear. We think it's clear. Oh, we'll find out. The characters think it's clear, we'll find but out the human beings playing the characters know you're a lying goblin motherfucker. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Why did you shove me in there again? Well, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna open the first chest. You're gonna go into this room here. Yeah. Right. Before he goes in, what are the rest of you doing? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen and see if it's safe. I'm, okay. not just I'm gonna follow. There. You're gonna follow Tren. Oh yeah. I'm go I'm gonna follow Daedal and I'm gonna think about how I can angle myself to get a rear naked choke on him um, <laughs> when he's least expecting it. So here. Yep. All right. What are you gonna do, Jack Bull? <laughs> I think I'll stay outside and kind of look behind us and just make sure nothing's coming up from behind while they go in to get ambushed. Make a perception check for me. <laughs> 22. 22. Oof. Um, you notice a wrestling coming from the uh, from the bush behind you. And all between that's between me and Jim is his cock, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. Okay, so, well, I'm just gonna, I, I, there's no other way. I've just got to alert him. Just tell him, hey, guys, there's something back here in the bushes. And then I'll pull out my staff and get ready to rock. Okay. All right. As you Better say not. that, you're all going to roll for initiative. Oh, baby. Has anyone taken damage, by the way? Does not anyone 20. need to get healed? Three. No, not yet. Well, Jim's been stabbed by a goblin. No, I didn't take any damage fine. at all. You don't take any damage. When you, when you break a polymorph, it doesn't do damage. You just need to inflict some damage. But because it, it's magical, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't mm -hmm. do anything. Where's initiative on the sheet? So, you roll a d20, yeah. and then you add your initiative modifier to yeah. it. Where is it? Uh, right below top. your armor class. Middle, middle top. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. See it, thank you. I got a five, faulty um, five. 20. Do I get an advantage or anything because I'm the first one to know? Five. I said it first! I said mine first! What are you talking about? <laughs> you, uh, Liar. You get a plus five, Jack Bull. Alright, so ten then. Okay. I got Potato, a five. What did you get? Three plus two. Five. Three plus two. What did you get, Jim? I got a six. We suck. <laughs> yep. Most diced crew in the game. Oh, my favorite player. <laughs> <laughs> right, as you're uh, as you're shouting over to uh, to Jim here, Jack Bull, Dado, you're still listening up against the door, right? Yep. Right, as that's happening, you uh, you hear a rumbling. Can you make a? I hear a rumbling inside the door. You hear a rumbling from the door. Can you make a a dexterity check, please? Uh, where's my dex? Down there. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. You don't pass, unfortunately. As this happens, Fun combat shot. is initiated. Uh, right. The door comes flying open and punts you back across the room, <laughs> Dadle. Um, you're gonna take. Six points of damage. How much emotional uh, damage? <laughs> <laughs> Two points of that no. emotional. No, the rest no, of no, the no. Um, yeah, you you literally get flung across the room. The door smashes. There's no door stop. It smashes against the stone. You see some of the the cobblestone around you falling off the walls as it's forcefully smacked away. Where can I tag like? How much damage I've taken? Uh, it should be on the sheet near the top. What sheet? Your oh yeah, sheet. but I yeah, but I'm in a tool where I can't actually. Just, just make it. Just make a note of it. Oops. Yeah. Uh, as you do this, as you get kicked back across the room, a, uh, a big orc comes out, clad in armor, 
screaming at you as it starts charging at forward. Me? Yep. <laughs> the, first, the first target it sees, Daedal. <laughs> and it, uh, it's going to swing its mace. What is yeah. it? It gets a natural 20. Oh, yes. man! It swings its mace with a natural 20, and in, uh, in one foul swoop, it swings it behind its head and smacks it down onto your chest, dealing. Oh, baby. Seven points of damage. <laughs> yeah, right. Half dead. You're half dead. Yeah. Fun, fun. Um, let's have a look. Where does it hit you? It said in my chest, square it hits in my you, chest. Yeah, it hits you square on your chest and, uh, and crushes one of your ribs. Four. As this is happening as well, um, you manage to narrowly avoid this. A goblin appears from the uh, the bush jack bull and dives forward at you, swinging his knife. Um, he is going to attack you with disadvantage. Uh, does eight hit? Does that break your armor class? I'm assuming no, not. It does not. I got a Doesn't. 15 AC. 15. So he basically leaps forward and uh, and basically just jumps past you, swinging his knife in a flurry in front of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, it's a your single, turn, Trent. A single goblin? Huh? Just a single goblin who have oh, been hiding so there, waiting to ambush you guys. <laughs> I stab him with my... Uh, rapier. Yep. 15, 16, 17 to hit. You hit. Uh, D8. One second, need to find a D8. Perfect. One damage. <laughs> you, find a, you find a little nick in his armor and you, uh, <laughs> And you see, there's in his in his helm, there's uh, there's little cutouts of breathing, and you manage to nick him just across the cheek. For one point of Amazing. Very Perfect. Nice. Anything else you want to do? Nope, that's it. <laughs> Maybe have a cry about how much you <laughs> <Yeah>. suck. <laughs> Jack Paul, what do you want to do? I'm I'm knocking the piss out of this little goblin. Go for it. <laughs> Seventeen. You hit. Six points of damage. How does it die? <laughs> I, I just I just cave in his skull with my uh, my nice. uh, staff. I just straight as he goes by with the dagger, just right in the back of his skull. His little eyeballs fly you just out. Bring and roll the staff the down. It just explodes. Yeah, like a watermelon. <laughs> Love glorious. No, I won't and I just look up at the others like this. Until I'm victorious, <laughs> yeah. and I will defend. Don't I don't care defend. about the gigantic orc about a murder deal. I'm just like, yeah, I killed a goblin. Yeah, <laughs> go me. <laughs> Took care of the non-threat threat. <laughs> right. Anything else you want to do? Loot his body. Uh, you want to loot in the middle of a fight, yeah? I'm not looting his body yet. Um, so this orc, right? <laughs> yep. What's, uh, is there, can I see anything in the doorway behind him at all, or is it just him? Uh, you can't see anything because the angle that you're at. But it appears to be just him from what you can see. All right, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, <laughs> I think there's more of these little goblins from behind here. Is there, is there, uh, am I, am I close enough to the bush? Is, is it like a sparse bush? What is it to give me the... Like a thick, dense bush, but you and can hide a... inside of it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay where I am for right now and just keep an eye on our back for a quick second. You can make a perception check if you want as a bonus action. I'll do that. Go for it. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Oh, you uh baby. you don't perceive anything that's uh, that's outside as a threat at the moment. Okay, I'll move in and I'll uh, position myself behind Jim. Oh, Jim, <laughs> Full day. Could, couldn't I uh, just question? Couldn't I have yeah. faded away like after the door banged open instead of like it was too late. Him punch me? It was too late. Uh, retrospectively, no, but now you know for next time. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I could, I could have done you it if have. I had you interrupted have, yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Right, here's a question. This orc is really big, isn't it? You can have a yeah, you can. You can have an inspiration, by the way, Dale, for thinking how to use your character correctly. <laughs> so at any point, you can re-roll anything that you want. <laughs> but you can this... do it for this session, and you can do it once. Yeah. I think I'm thinking this is a great time for that rear naked choke on Dale. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good luck. He's literally on the floor with a mace stuck into his chest at the moment. Mm. No, so I guess I can't miss this orc, and I'm not going to hit Dale by mistake or Trend by mistake. So I think I'm going to no. do. I think I'm going to do a backwards roll. Oh wait, so are you, yeah. it depends what you're. It depends what you're using. At this point. <laughs> what are you using to attack? I've got a bow, haven't I? I've got a, like well, a bow. If you were to use your bow in close quarters. You'd uh, you'd receive a minus two to it because you're using a bow in close quarters. If it was a hand crossbow, for example, it would be fine. But you've got an actual bow, right? Yeah, I've got. A, I'm gonna I'm gonna backwards roll so that it's not close quarters. Uh, you would still be. <laughs> in order to do that, you would have to roll out the building. Okay, I'm I'm not I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna go out the building. I'll I'll take a minus two. It's fine. I'll just shoot him in the face. Backwards roll. Shoot him in the face. Make an acrobatics check, please. Why are you backwards rolling if, you're, if it's not actually accomplishing anything? <laughs> because of Dimmy! <laughs> Lord Dimrath, we have to honour him! Uh, I rolled I a 15 and I've got pluses. Yeah. So glorious. You roll a 15? Mm. So uh, 18. 18 altogether. 18 altogether, right. The floor's slippery, so minus 2, but you still pass with a 16. Nice. <laughs> so you did the backwards roll. Congratulations. Thank you very much. That was the completely unnecessary part. <laughs> he could have literally walked back two steps. Yep. Oh, I rolled an 11. I guess I don't hit You do not Fuck hit me with an 11. Roll, you, 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 you wasted the 18 on the roll. <laughs> you, uh, hey, look, we got a backwards roll. You, you, you pull your bow back and you, uh, you're you not able to steady yourself and the arrow goes pinging past his head into the wall and uh, another few flecks of cobblestone start mm. to uh, trickle down from the, the wall. And then I say, Daka, attack! <laughs> What's so, he going to do? Is he going to go for an attack? He's, he's going he's gonna to attack twice. I'll let, let me remember. Let me re let me remember what his things are. Primeval Peck. All right. Hmm? That Did is 14. 14? You don't hit. Oh, diced. And then, like... He oh, starts pecking ones. and chinking away at the armor. It's like a woodpecker going at the armor. So the it's peck, 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 and it doesn't go through. And the other ones are ten. The the the, the claws. Ten, it doesn't. The uh, you can't tear through plate mail, unfortunately. No, Jim. no. So there you go. Absolutely diced. Absolutely diced. What can you Comedy do? Comedy mega. Mm. Right, Dadle. What are you gonna do? You've currently got a mace resting on your chest that's pinning you down to the ground. Uh, <laughs> can have a little cry to regenerate some health? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little cry. I've tried to see what. I can't remember, like, uh, I've, I've, I've uh, mixed up in my head, like, what abilities I have from the. You don't have to use an ability. Tell, tell me what you want to do. So what I want to do is get this fucking mace off of me and then make myself like uh, not getting attacked again. So as a by bonus the action, you can try and throw the mace off you with a strength check if you want to. Fucking weak. <laughs> Just lie down and wait to die, Dadle. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> my best option at this point. What, I'm to, what I want to do is mirror image. That's what I want to do. I want to create mirror images and then like sl 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 try and away. slither away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but there's no point creating a mirror image of myself during during comedy. Just create like, mirror image. Okay, just so lying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to make the strength check. How how big I mean, is this you, mace? You heal yourself up on the floor. You know, there's lots of things you could do. Yeah, but there's no point healing me if he's just gonna pick up the mace and bludgeon me. You have me shield of it. faith, by any chance? What shield of faith? No. Is your you're a what are you? I forget. You're. I'm a, uh, I think I'm cleric. Are you a cleric? What what yeah. abilities you've got? You've definitely got some good ones on there. I'm, I'm a trickery cleric. 
Uh, trickster cleric. I forget your trickster cleric. You've got all the shit spells. <laughs> <laughs> you literally have like loads of shields and fun stuff. Like, if you want to cast a cantrip, cast a cantrip. That's the best thing you can do as a cleric. That's a cantrip. Jesus hey, look Christ. at your spell list. You've got the multiple... about his character. So you, you've got multiple different spells, right? On your yeah. spell list. Cantrips are free, and then you've got spell slots which you can expend to cast uh, right. level two and level one spells. So what what cantrips have you got? You got anything useful? Uh, so I've got guidance. That's not useful. Uh, no. I've got mending. That's not useful. I've got no. sacred flame. Sacred flame. You could punt him. Flame like radiance descends on a creature that you can see within range. The target must succeed in dexterity saving throw or take radiant damage. Uh, or word of radiance. Uh, Best way to get comfortable with your spells is just to start casting them. Yeah, I want to. I want to take the word of radiance, and that way, like uh, that, that should expunge the mace off of me as well, right? But you want to explain for what word of radiance does for the for the so viewers? The word of radiance. I I utter a divine word. Uh, which is what the, goblin, the, goblin, the goblin word for king. Uh, that's my what happens, word. It just happens to be C-nut. <laughs> oh, God. Hugo <laughs> flugel. So, <laughs> so I whisper C-nut, uh, and a burning radiance erupts from me. Um, oh. And you, you, you all get, like, <laughs> captured by this radiance that just, from this... This goblin that you've been bullying so far, <laughs> thinking you can toy around and fucking strangle when he's not watching. Uh, A burning <laughs> radiance erupts from Dale. <laughs> um, everyone uh, that I can see have to uh, succeed a constitution saving uh, throw. Um, that, but every creature of my choice. Uh, but I I'm looking at the spell, it just says each creature. No, oh, uh, of your choice. There you go. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, are you gonna, so, who are you going to attack? So I'm I'm targeting the orc, and I'm looking okay. menacingly over at Jimmy. <laughs> you stunned me, you cunt! I mean, sorry, you stunned me. You <laughs> seen? I'm saving him from it, uh, but I want him to like <laughs> intently take in what's happening here. Uh, <laughs> And then this radiance should as well expunge the mace off of my chest, right? Yeah. Because of the force. We'll, we'll say it does, yeah. Yeah. He fails the saving throw. Uh, as this happens, you basically whisper the you whisper the word. And, uh, and a big flash of light for about half a second plumes out of you as the uh, as the orc stumbles back, holding his, uh, holding his mace. It comes out of your chest. There is now a cavity left in your chest. <laughs> Uh, where the mace used to be. So, so this was a cantrip, so I can also heal myself this okay. turn. So first off, you got to do one d six of damage. How much damage you do to the uh, yeah? The orc. Uh, three, three, cool. Yeah, he's uh, he's literally blinded. Um, there's a, there's a couple of scorch marks on his armor now, and uh, you see, you know, like an outline on the wall from where you spray somebody with water. There's, a, there's an outline on the wall with like char marks behind him. <laughs> no, I'm uh, I'm actually not gonna heal myself at this point. I'm going to create the mirror image. You're lying on the floor currently with your chest I'm, I'm, almost I'm, caved I'm, in. I'm, I'm racing up. I, I'm I'm straggling up. Like, right. uh, make it. You're gonna have to make a strength check to get up to your or a con check actually, constitution check to get up to your feet here. Because yeah. your uh, your cave is your sorry your cave your chest is literally caved in, it's uh it's crushed almost. Yeah. All right. Heal yourself, Dale. Do it. <laughs> I'm I'm going to do that. Like I I need to be useful. And if I healing can... yourself and being a tank is very useful. To be fair, you need a punching bag in the party since Dimmy's left. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That as well. <laughs> I mean, I can't be both the goblin 
the <laughs> trickster cleric and the fucking tank. It doesn't work like that if I'm gonna have to heal and tank. <laughs> uh, what do you want to do? What, what was the uh, check I, was, I had to do? Uh, constitution. Where's constitution? Where do I find constitution? There. No, it's uh, just, on the, just on the All far right. left. As uh, you so, 18. <clears throat> You manage to just about steady yourself up. You uh, you start crawling backwards, and you use some of the rubble to uh, to basically prop yourself up. Yeah. And you manage to get to your feet. And then I uh, create mirror images of myself and slip behind uh, Jimmy. So like there are three mirror images in front yep. of like taunting the orc. Uh, so it, like he's currently blinded, right? Um, <laughs> but uh, so these three images are gonna like. He's gonna think that I'm one of them, and then the real me is gonna take uh, take um, cover behind Jimmy. I just. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, the real They're all trying. There's a temporary one. <laughs> yeah, everyone's hiding behind me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's gonna be. The real you temporarily hiding behind Jim. Yeah. Okay. Just for clarity. Lovely. And is it a concentration spell or not? Uh, it's an illusionary spell. But does it require concentration? Um, duration one minute. Three illusionary duplicates of yourself appear in your space. Until the spell ends, the duplicates move with you and mimic your actions shifting positions so it's impossible to track which image is real you can use your action does he just start running image. around like headless chickens at the moment yeah disguising himself as me so yeah that's accurate <laughs> <laughs> um as this happens so it's now the uh it's now the orcs turn as this is happening he just looks visibly confused and he's uh he's gonna start swinging his mace around and running forward and he is going to make an attack on all of you because it is a cleave attack with a minus. So, Tren, he is going to attack you for 16. Does he hit you? 16. With an armor class of... Oh, Strong yeah, he hits. <laughs> he, um, he smashes you back against the wall and you, uh, you go flying and you're hit to the ground. You're taking four points of damage because you smack okay. your head and you've got a concussion. He's, uh, he's going to smack through the mirror image. This mirror image here, he's uh, he hits with the mace as it swings around, and it poofs and uh, and disappears. Mm -hmm. That one does. As he uh, as he hits and kills it, the second one. He also hits and kills with the mace, and the third one as it swings around. Is he doing this blinded? <laughs> he hits and kills. Wow. Yeah, he, he's, he's literally, like, enraged at the moment. He's just swinging his mace around, running forward. What a badass. And he's going to... see what he can do when he's, like, actually consciously targeting his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he, hits, uh, he hits Demon Cock. Demon Cock goes flying back into the wall. No! And Demon Cock takes a single point of damage. Oh, okay, good. Ooh. So as, he, as the orc starts stumbling forward, he, uh, he trips on a rock. And, uh, and goes face first down onto the ground with a thud. Uh, mm. As this happens, the walls start to cave in more, and a load of rubble falls onto his back, crushing him, killing him instantly. Oh, <laughs> oh that was. Oh, Go on, you poor beetle. <laughs> I'm pointing at him, saying, "Dickhead." <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yeah. And then, then I'm gonna. Uh, make my way over to Tren. As, as, as you hear, by the way, last whisper, his last breath is the, the room wasn't clear. <laughs> <laughs> as he passes away. <laughs> I'm making my over, way over to Tren to check if she's okay. Uh, you're literally, you're bleeding out of your chest at the moment. Your yeah. chest is still caved yeah. in. Yeah, I'm still doing this. Okay, you're walking over. Can you make a con check as you're walking over for me? Constitution, just to check yeah. that you can. Yeah, I'm I'm making my way over like as I can, like stumbling. You're still gonna make a constitution check. Yeah, your yeah. chest is caved in. 
Yeah. <laughs> you are bleeding profusely from your chest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Heal <laughs> yourself, <laughs> Dado. <laughs> uh... All right, seven. <laughs> seven you, uh, you fall down to the ground, face first. Uh, a mixture of blood and tears starts pooling out of you. I'm okay. stretching my ha hand out towards Tren. <laughs> you're, you're a bit concussed at the moment, Tren. You're dazed. Uh, can I start... Can I start... Uh, try... What is it? Stabilizing Dadal? Yeah, Try and stop the bleeding. What are you That's a do? nice idea. Um, I take out a match and I try and... Uh... It's, it's not like the cleric could literally stabilize himself at any point with any sort of healing spell. No, 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 no. no. I, I just take out a match and I cl clotterize the, the wound. So I just... Uh, so you're you know, going to flip some... him over, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. You flip him over onto his back. You notice to your right there's a, there's a torch on the wall. I just grab it and I stab it into it. <laughs> if you're gonna stab a torch into it, what the burning end? <laughs> the burning end into his bleeding chest. Yeah. It's not gonna cauterize anything. You stab it down, and uh, and it does nothing but burns a small hole in his chest. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, I Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're gonna take four points. <laughs> four points of damage for that. Oh, brilliant! Ah, uh, he's looking. Uh, he's looking much better now. Uh, so you uh, you start coughing up blood. How much health have you got left? Oh, dear. Uh, Twenty. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen points left. How much have you got? Oh, you got so much health. I've got hardly any. I've got twenty. I've got forty to start with. I've only I'm got taking... twenty-four. No, wait, I've taken seventeen, so I've got uh, twenty-three. You are literally a tank. How is a goblin a tank? <laughs> He's a fucking goblin. I don't understand goblin. how you. I don't understand how you've rolled forty health. Have you selected the maximum on your sheet? I don't know. <laughs> it, it said forty. Okay, oh. we're going to bring that down to something a bit more reasonable. Um, <laughs> how much health did Jim? How much do you have? I've got 24. Jackball, Trent, how much do you have? I have 30. 30. 19. Okay. 19. We're going to say you're 20 health, Dadel. All right, so I've got more three reasonable. <laughs> yeah, you're currently bleeding out on the floor. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I run over to Dadal. I pull out one of my healing potions and I jam, or I pour it right down his throat. Yeah, you're gonna pour a healing potion down his throat. Yes, I am. I'm gonna. Is I'm it gonna one knock, the healing potions I'm gonna or is his one little, one? little tear-filled face back, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna just. I'm pouring one right down his throat. You uh, you get down on one knee next to him. You put one. You put your left hand behind his uh, behind his head. Dadal, my son. As, his, uh, <laughs> as tears start running down his face, and you get the potion out. You flick the cork off with one hand. And uh, you get your thumb pull down his pull down his chin and just forcefully put the vial into his mouth and tip it. All right, how much do you heal for that? Let's have a look. What is it? A one d eight plus? Uh, I believe so. I've rolled a seven, so whatever it is, like one d eight plus two or something. Yeah, that'll do. You can heal for ten points of damage. You see, is uh. You see his chest start to magically close up. The torch still lit in his chest, by the way, <laughs> as it's closing around the torch. Sm small burning goblin. Uh... <laughs> nice. The uh, the fire extinguishes. You uh you hear a little hiss sound as it uh, as it extinguishes, but there is still a literal stake in his uh <clears throat> like a wooden stake in his chest that's currently being enclosed by his uh, his flesh. Nice. Probably best to yank that out. <laughs> I take I'll one look at look at, at, look look at, at she's, she's got these two. <laughs> she's just you know over him. You know this uh, in this glorious stabbing <laughs> maneuver still there. And I'm like, you mind pulling that out of him? <laughs> I guess. <He's> <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to make a strength <laughs> check now, oh. Trent. Pull it out. Oh, okay. Good thing I rolled a 19 base. <laughs> Plus... 
Uh, oh, strength. How does it come out of his chest? With a kind of gross, like, squelching sound. <laughs> How the hell does it come out? What? I gag a little. <laughs> <laughs> thin you and blood that have been congealed around the end of the torch in the, nice. and have burnt onto it also come out with it. Nice. Lovely. I look at all this and think, oh, look, Daedal's, uh, what, what, what's uh, Flagdal stops? Nearly dead. Anyway, um, <laughs> and I, look, I check on Daka and make, his, make sure he's okay, give him a stroke, you know, maybe feed him some of that blood off the walls and make sure he's feeling good. He's already licking the blood off the walls as we speak. Good, good lad, good lad. Regaining all the health points he lost from licking up the blood. Nice, mm, nice. Delicious orc blood. Mmm, lovely. <laughs> I know just how delicious it is. <laughs> well, uh, I'll walk over to the dead orc and uh, search his, search his uh, crushed body. Um, you don't find much on him. He's, uh, he's literally got plate mail armor on and a big mace. You don't find anything on his body, specifically. Is his mace wieldable by human hands? Uh, not, not for a creature of your size. Sad. Could Sir Dimrath do it? <laughs> A mace is about the size of Daedal. Wow. Um, I might keep it just in case Dimrath ever... In, in, for when we when we rescue Dimrath, he's like a half-orc or something, isn't he? Could could Dimrath yeah. wield it? With uh, with great difficulty. He would need some training, but he no. could do it. It's a big fuck-off mace. Might give it to him as a treat when we rescue him. <laughs> right. You're going to drag that thing around here, Jim? No, no, just You're leave it on the ground for now. It. Leave it on the ground for now. Can always come back for things later. But first, we've got to clear all the rooms, haven't we? Mm hmm. We've got to clear all the rooms. Dead or your backup, by the way. Yeah, I'm trying to find, like, uh, the. Uh, I need to find the old uh, file that you sent me where, where I've filled in my actual uh, skills that I picked. Because I've only got the one where I haven't actually picked my skills. Fill in some skills if you want, as long as as long as it's a reasonable amount, you can have whatever skills on that sheet you want. Mm. All right. Also, you're doing that. What do we want to do, boys and girls? Right. Um... Hey, Dado, what's behind the door? <laughs> I didn't hear anything. That guy came right through, <laughs> blowing me up. <laughs> right. So I they think did. He hunted you across the room. Yeah. I think what we should do, everybody, is carry on as we were before, trying, you know, listening at the door, then kick it in, and you know, clear, clear the, clear this place room by room. Do we? Are we? Are we all on board with that? Keeping that I strategy. Think so. Go ahead, Jim. Pick the next door, buddy. Glorious. You're going through into this next room. Yep. Right. So you go through into the next room. Um, it is an old armory. Uh, brackets on the walls hold a number of weapons, spears, swords, morning stars, and more. The north wall uh, shows signs of damage and appears to be caving in. The floor is, uh, has actually been kept clean and has been swept of all rubble. Mm. I think I should listen to the uh, that door there the, 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 on the top. Top, top, uh, north, east corner there. the rest of you guys doing? Um, there is hey. also another entrance up the top, Pim. Hey, yo, Jack Bull, do you have any uh, more of those healing potions by chance? Yeah, I do. So do you. Oh, I do? <laughs> yes, yeah, we, we all, all, we all got three of them. You also got some random potions as well that you don't know what the fuck they do. Mm. Hmm. I, I found my spells. I'm going to do healing word on myself, and I'm going to... Yeah. No, I'm gonna do healing word on Tren and cure wounds on me. She she's taken like how much points? She's taking like a couple of points of damage, right? Yeah, she's taken four. Four. Wait, you cure, which one's the? Yeah, because like I need to cure my wound in my chest, right? Go for she's, it. she's got like a concussion. Okay, so which one are you gonna cast? Uh, healing word on Tren first. Right. So explain what healing word does for the uh, for the audience. Uh, uh, so within within uh, a, a creature of my choice that I can see, um, 
like I'm, I'm, it's an invocation. Um, so I'm channeling it um, with, with the power of a word. Uh, and this for time, you, uh, for you and your class, it's the power of tears. <laughs> 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 so I channeled the hurt uh, <laughs> that I felt uh, when uh, <laughs> Jimmy, when Jimmy slapped me back in town. <laughs> nice. And, uh, and a single tear dri drips down my uh, cheek, uh, and I look at Tren. Uh, and channel, uh, channel the healing effect. Um, oh. and, uh, again, like, a, a tiny, a tiny, like, light, um, erupts from me. Uh, th it, this is nowhere near as, as strong as, like, uh, the past, oh. the last one. But, like, a little, the, the room lights up a little bit. The room lights um, up a little bit, trend starts to glow. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna need to cast a die. No, wait, it's a d4. Uh, yeah, a four. Um, 1d4 plus 1d4 through SL plus zero, according to the wisdom. Your wisdom modifier. So what's your wisdom? Um... I mean, she's gonna feel a heal up to max health, right? She's taking four damage, and I, I heal at least. So it'd be four. plus. It'd be, in this case, it'd be plus four plus your wisdom modifier, but you got up to full train. Yeah, I got. I Thank got you. Zero wisdom modifier. <laughs> nice. Uh, you're welcome, friend. <laughs> and then, uh, is it still my turn, or are we? Am oh, we're I not in combat. Myself? You can do whatever you want. Yeah, all right. So I the the other ones the the cure wounds is where where I uh, yeah. uh, put my hand um, on a creature I'm t I, I touch uh, region. Um, You're gonna put your hand on the chest then, I yes, say. yeah, exactly. And and start like uh, making sure that whatever hasn't like because there are still like bits and pieces that are that are open in my chest, right, from where. Yeah. Trent stabbed me in from like the, the chest. It's mostly, it's mostly closed up, but there's still a little hole. Yeah, and, and like the rib, I can still feel how it's broken. Uh, the rib's actually mended. Oh, it has. All right. Well, I can, I can feel how it hasn't mended properly because I'm still yeah. hurting. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I uh, put my hand on my chest and like this, this light is again not as strong as uh, when, when I. Blinded the orc, but like a little bit stronger. Than you start glowing a little about bit. What yeah, you, yeah, about what your face closing. cam looks like now. Uh, so, 1d8. <laughs> about what your face cam looks like now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. You become a ghost. Uh, uh, I roll a three. <laughs> you heal yourself for three points of damage. Uh, it's 1d8. Again, like plus this one D through SL plus zero. Plus your con modifier. I think all your healing spells have con modifier, so you add the you add your constitution modifier on the end. So what's your con? If you look it, on the list, it says whiz. It says whiz. So oh, you got wisdom, wisdom modifier. Okay. All right. What's your wisdom? So it's zero. Ah, well. Done. <laughs> well, you're not getting you're not getting any extra healing off that. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right. So it's just always one D whatever it says then. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So, uh, that, that's me up to you're 16 You're now healed up then. to... We'll say you're healed up to your full amount now, which is what we said, 20. All right, thanks. No, 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 he's got 40. He's got 40. <laughs> he does not have 40 health. <laughs> you created the character, Faulty. You <laughs> click the max health it. button. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, can, you can check. As you uh -huh. see, you've sent the uh, document twice back in chat. And oh, you it's one it with 4 healing twice. Word is 1d4 plus your wisdom modifier. Mm. Nah, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's all good. We loosely follow <laughs> the rules. I was, doing, I was doing cure wounds on me. I was doing healing word oh, cure on Cure wounds, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so uh, that's why I did it that way around, because I've taken more damage. No stress. 
Right. What are we doing now? I'm listening Jim's to this currently door. up against the door. You can cast Guidance on Jim, by the way. It gives him a, a nice buff if he's going to start kicking down doors. Yeah, all right. I'll do that. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys are going to go into the room, yeah? Yep. Are you going to look through anything in here? Yeah, there, we this, this is the room with, with the, all the chests. The chest. Yeah, the armory. I tried to bite uh, one of the locks when they weren't looking, but I couldn't uh, open it. <laughs> what are we doing here? It, we need what to is, clear. Are at the door? Yeah, I'm listening to the door. We need to clear this thing. I'm going I'm to cast True Sight or whatever it is on myself. True Strike, Ooh. whatever the fuck that Ooh. bollocks is. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to uh, listen to the, And I say, look, you dickheads, let's not wait until the searching until all these massive orcs with big fucking maces are gone. And <laughs> and let's concentrate on killing these fucks. Or talking yeah. to them, fault force. <laughs> as as uh, Jim turns around to face the doors again, I'll uh, try and like open the nearest uh, chest. You, uh, you see you go up to a chest and there's locks on it. You can yeah. attempt to uh, to try and open the lock, but I will require a high roll. Don't I have like the? Uh... I mean, I'm a thief, right? Or a trickster. Mm -hmm. Do you have lock picks? Uh, I should have, yeah. Uh, don't move me closer. No, <laughs> you're gonna stay all the way <laughs> back, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I, 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 I look up surprised at uh, Jackpot, and I scowl a little bit, and then I turn around. Uh, and watch Jim readying himself. I, I look more. over at Nadal and I'm just like... <laughs> He's looking at Nadal, yeah? Yeah, I'm just watching this happen. <laughs> Very nice. Right. So can I hear anything at the door? Uh, make a perception check. Eighteen. No. Yeah, eighteen. <laughs> You uh, you hear like a slurping sound from behind the door. Oh, <laughs> the table's behind there too. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, in that case, I will. You could peer through the keyhole if you wanted. Yes, I'll peer through the keyhole. God. <laughs> Very nice. You uh, you put your eye down to it. I'm becoming a peeping tom. I'm hearing slurping sounds. I'm like, oh, I'll have a look at this. <laughs> There's, uh, there's an orc that you can see with his head on the table, and he's just licking the table. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. You build this suit, Dado. Come on, man. Use your imagination, dude. Okay. Right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and go like this to everybody, right? And I'm gonna try and open the door as quietly as I can. You okay. Wait, make so a... Before he does that. Go on. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to kind of approach him and I'm just going to say I'm going to go around the back side of the castle. There's another door to this room. Open the door and when he comes through, I'm going to come through and attack him from behind. Well, hey. You can't attack him from behind if you look where the doors are on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. So I want you can still outflank though. Can still outflank. Door comes into okay. our room right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? So I want Jim to draw him into our current room. Ah, and then you're gonna sneak around here. Yeah. Exactly. Then yeah, I'll yeah. open the other door. Yeah. Bingo. 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 So Jim, you uh, you open the door. Make yeah. a make a sleight of hand check. Oh god, I rolled a four, so I guess we don't need to look at my modifiers. <laughs> yeah, you open the door, <laughs> and uh, you uh, you see through, and you walk into the room slightly. And the uh, the orc pays no attention to you. He uh, he just starts banging his head on the table. Oh, right. Well, what I'm gonna do is, how, do I have? Is he got his back to me? He's got his back to you. Mm. And is he is he well armored? Nope. He's oh. uh he's in like worker uniform. Okay. <laughs> Execution incoming. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put away my boar that I was ready to, uh, to, to shoot at him, and I'm gonna get out my dagger, and I'm gonna try to sneak up on him, right up behind him, and then shank him in the fucking neck. As you're, uh, as you're walking up behind him, you, uh, you start to hear that he's actually crying as his, uh, as his forehead's down on the table. Ah. You start to hear sniffling. 
Oh man, maybe maybe I shouldn't kill him. Yeah, should, kill the, uh, should should I charm him? Every freaking see if we can get some Jim. information out of him. Kill him, Jim. They're all evil. Right. Either. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is okay. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go up behind him. Yeah. Sneakily, stealth right up behind him, and then get the put the knife to his throat. Yeah. Rather than killing him instantly. Right. Like grab him. Now put you the, get a conscience. Yeah. No. And then say, and then say, what's Before wrong? Before you do this, just a reminder that you only speak common. Okay, I'm just fuck it. I'm just gonna stab the living fuck out you of him. You do have somebody you can. Control. I'm just gonna stab him. I've already stabbed him. Ah! <laughs> there you go. That's happened. <laughs> you craft lovely NPCs and they just die to a stabbing. I see. <laughs> make a make an attack roll, Jim. Right. Um, fourteen plus plus. Plus something. Oh dear, I'm so I'm so sorry, faulty. It's alright. It's all right. <laughs> uh, Nineteen. You might just be, you know, losing critical information on where they're hiding Dimrath. Well, this is what I was thinking. That's why I was going to talk to him. But then you told me you, I, you couldn't you can always, understand. You can always go. But if you have somebody who can speak Orcish, I need to talk to him. And you were like, "No, fuck it, I'm going to stab well, him." Fuck it, that doesn't work, does it? That doesn't work. <laughs> I'm going to give you an option to retcon it. It's up to you. Okay, you I'll retcon it. You have, if you want, if you want to stab him, you have full permission to stab him. Okay, no, I'm, I'll, I'll, seeing as, seeing as you've done all of this work for us, fault for us. What I'll do is I shall sneak no, up again, behind him. If you him. want to stab him, you can stab him. I shall Fine. sneak up behind him and I'll put a knife to his throat, and then I'll, I'll shout, I'll shout loudly okay. and slowly okay. like an Englishman on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> so you uh, you get up behind him. You put a knife to his throat, and uh, and he panics for a second. And we're gonna go into combat now. No. Somebody roll initiative. So you put the uh, you put the knife to his uh, to his throat, and he instantly, Jim, pushes back against you and smashes you into the wall as he's uh, as he's crying. I knew I should have just killed him. <laughs> Instant regret. <laughs> Take two points of damage as you uh, as you fall to the floor. He's uh, he's gonna move into the corner of the room, by the way, and start cowering, looking at you guys. Mm hmm. Okay. I peer into the room with my nineteen. Uh, he's, he's currently got his he's currently got his hands over his uh, over his head, and he's uh, he's crying in the corner. Okay, so then I shall say, Flagel, maybe you can speak to him. I don't. I think there's something wrong with him. <laughs> Clear. He just starts screaming and orcish at you. You can't understand what he's saying. <laughs> he's shrieking. I say, I say clearly, <laughs> Sherlock. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's wrong with him. <laughs> He's defective. Uh, so, uh, I try to charm him. Um, because he's clearly, like, um, not wanting to co um, what, communicate with us. I mean, you can understand what you're saying. You can yeah. understand broker because goblin and orcish are roughly yeah. the same language. You but, can't understand fully. But does he want to? Does he want to communicate with us? I don't know. You could try talking to him. Hey, <laughs> you. at the moment, combat's going to be paused. You guys can move around freely. Yeah, I'm. I'm peering into the room. Like I'm not. Like I'm. I'm tre carefully. Through. I'm carefully treading into the room. I'll like, do a backwards you, roll. This goes off. <laughs> <laughs> You're muted, Jackball. Uh, I'll open the door and stay where I'm at. Okay. You open the door. <laughs> what do we want to do here? Yeah, I I'm stay. trying to talk. Oh, I'm trying. Sorry. You're gonna try. And I talk I just stay. Yeah, stay I'm trying to are. talk to. Uh... 
Oi, you, what's wrong? <laughs> he just starts he just starts crying and sobbing still in the corner. But you just about make uh, you just about make out from his muffled words that uh, that they took Rocky. Who's Rocky? And that you want him back. Who's Rocky? Uh, he's unable to answer you. He's just sniffling in tears in the corner. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to charm him. Go for it. Um. So you walk up to him and you go, "Come here, big fella." The, the sun's getting low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he put, <laughs> he's got a hand on his shoulder. <laughs> it's five to two. Make anybody talk. So he has to make a wisdom saving throw. He fails, you got a natural one. Yeah, alright. So he really thinks we're friends. Uh, okay. Like, we're best friends. Uh, like, usually they're just... He, the charm creature just regards you as a friendly acquaintance. But if he rolls a nat one, then he thinks we've been best friends for life. Like, yeah. he mistakes me for, like, some goblin he met, like, as a kid. Nice. Um, and so yeah, I'm like, who's Rocky? Where, and who took him? He starts wiping away the tears off his face. It's it's a difficult for you to communicate because of the language barrier. Yeah. But um, but he basically explains from what you can understand that it's his uh, his pet rock. That, oh. uh, the big boss took away from him. Yeah, I think I think I saw it uh, out here. Um, we can go look for it. Um, by the way, have you have you seen a human? Like, have you guys? Had a human in here in the in the castle. Yeah, Apple. he shakes his he shakes his head and he is very interested in his uh, in his rock. Yeah, so gone. so um, we, <laughs> we start. Uh, I think I lead him into the room like past Jackpool, and we start rummaging through the rocks there. Uh, and then I make signs to like, or I I turn around to the others. And I asked him, like, what should I ask him? Like, what do we want to know? Like, he has, they haven't had ask, a human Ask him what there. his c favorite color is. What, what's your favorite color? <laughs> is it green. blue? <laughs> <laughs> it's green, he says. Green. Same, color, same, same color as Rocky. Same color as Rocky. Like, all right, so we're looking for a rock. I'm telling the others now that we're looking for a rock that is his best uh, pet rock. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he explains to you his name is Zug Zug. His name he's, is Zug uh, Zug. <laughs> he's here to do medial labor. He's uh, he, he's basically been enslaved. All right. And, uh, mm. Yeah. He, he, he basically tells you. He basically Would you tells like? You I, 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 I'll sit the turtle. Ask him if he wants to be f not a slave anymore. Do you want to be not a slave anymore? Yeah, he nods at you. Oh, yeah. good. I can I can make that happen. <laughs> Dadle, Dib is a half orc, brother. Oh, Dim's a half orc. All right, I'm I'm uh, telling the the orc again. Like it wasn't like a human human. It was a half orc. Yeah, he tilts his head and uh, and doesn't respond. All right. All right. So they don't look like a cross had... between himself and Jimmy. <laughs> I'm a high right, so, elf. So the, the 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 guy we're looking for right now is like. Yeah, I'm relaying everything. That yeah, he, he goes, he goes, King Roll, big boss, take Rocky. You help me get back. Yeah, all right. Uh, no, he, we need to find his pet rock. It, the, it, it, the, the, the boss that we killed had it. Uh, Alti, can, it's a green can this, rock. Can this orc wield that other orc's base? No. The uh, the other orc was a hardened battle orc. The, uh, the orc here is a laborer. He, uh, he was literally outside before cutting down trees for firewood do we have a spell to like find the rock the fire yeah, yeah let me just open my <laughs> find door. rock let me look for the find the rock <laughs> if we want Dimmy could detect evil and then detect rock <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, it turns out you cast detect rock and uh, and it's pinging like mad it turns out there are thousands of little rocks around you <laughs> Do we really have to look for this guy's rock, or do we just murder him? Or maybe we say you help us first, then we find Rocky. Yeah, we just hide behind him. We just we just send him in first, and if he dies, he dies, right? Mom and dad are well, and that if he helps us get out of here, we'll take him home. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm relaying everything. But yeah, he nods at you. Yeah, all right, he agrees. All right, tell him to pick up one of those tree branches he's been cutting and tell him to follow us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he walks outside and he, uh, he finds a log on the floor, a big fuck-off log <laughs> that he slings under his arm. Four. Uh, Here's our cake, in. boys. Glorious. How long does this spell last? We've got some kind of fun. His, his name is Zug Zug. <laughs> uh, Grim, what are you doing while this is going on? The, the, the spell lasts for an hour, by the way. Yeah. Good, he'll be dead by then. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm just looking around the room if there's anything that is lootable or anything standing out in the room. Uh, make a perception check. Uh, um, 22. 22. There is a, a small satchel sitting on one of the, um, one of the seats on the table in front of you. There's also a door to your right where you can hear murmuring coming from it. No. What's in the satchel if I pick it up? Uh, you pick it up and you open it. Uh, it is a load of coloured beads. Oh. That you uh, you put the connection together and they, they belong to Zug Zug. Ah, Zug Zug's beads. Okay. <laughs> Marble collection. Are, are they the kind that you would use to cheat in a game of chess? Or <laughs> <laughs> are, are these uh, are these beads like connected on a string? <laughs> it's connected on a string, yeah. <laughs> You, uh, you give the beads a sniff and know they're, uh, they're just normal little glass <laughs> oh, beads. Oh god, imagine giving this just on the off chance. <laughs> just the smell of orcas. Okay, I'll I'll like that. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's roll a d100. Yeah. On, a, on a 100, they are they are orcanal beads. Oh, I hope so. 93, very close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> You um you open up the bag and you pull them out and they seem to be a little bit wet though. <laughs> uh, you're not sure why. We're really not from us, Jews. Dado, ask ask the orc what's in the next room over to our east. Mm. Who, who's in there? Um, zug zug. Zug zug. Green zug. boys. Green boys. Green boys. How many green boys? How Me many? no no. Are they are they uh, are they evil? Are they big green boys like you, or little green boys like that body outside the door there? Uh, he uh, he just tilts his head. He he doesn't understand. Are they evil there's, there's or still are they communication friends? Barrier. Are they evil? Are they... He doesn't understand the word evil. All right. Are they did you friends? hear my question? I did. Yeah, he doesn't understand, okay. unfortunately, Jack. So he doesn't understand. Are they like you? Um, it would be very difficult to. There's there's a communication barrier, unfortunately, okay. so you can't you can't really get the information out of him. He's still quite distraught about not having Rocky as well. Yeah, yeah. He's um he's looking around for it. He's he's flipping over rocks and stuff, just murmuring into himself, trying to find it. Mm. All right. Well, looks like we're going in that room to the next there. Let's 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 position our new orc friend there, right by the door. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Jim, catch! And I throw the bag of beads at him. <laughs> oh God. I deliberately don't catch them because I don't know where those beads have been. <laughs> For all I know. Zug Zug notices you throw the beads and uh, the bag falls to the floor and they scatter out. No. And, uh, and he, he turns to you and stares you down, Jim. Oh, and I'll say, look, stay on mission. <laughs> we don't need you distracted by these anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> in my head they are I yeah, he, doesn't understand, he doesn't understand you Jim you see his, uh, his breath starts to start to quicken a bit as his eyes narrow on you alright alright Dato ask him to open the door and uh ask him to I I I extract, extract the I scooch down and start picking up the beads and I ask Sug Sug points at the door can you open Good job picking up the beads that stopped Jim from dying there. Yep, yeah, I'll do a backwards roll to celebrate. <laughs> Make a dex check. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven, you fail, Jim. No. You uh, you smack your head on the door frame. you now have a concussion. <laughs> Minus two to every roll for the next three turns. <laughs> Oh, 
That, 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 you know what that's called, Jim? That's called the slow play penalty. <laughs> oh, I love Timmy. <laughs> Good job, Dale. We just did it. Did you ever see the Kirkos? Okay. Okay. Are we sending? Are we sending in Zug Zug then in the next room? We you, li you literally hear a thud as he, as he rolls back. By the way, you hear a thud, <laughs> and Jim's just lying on the floor, just dazed. <laughs> You are you, you scoop up the glass beads and you uh you put them back in the, the little pouch and you uh you attach it to Zug Zug's belt and he <sighs> seems happy and content. Yeah, I get Good. I, All right. Well I, done, Jim. Well done. Thanks. All right, get Zug Zug in there, come on. We need the meat shield in. He's gonna uh, right, Zug Zug is gonna open the door then. Oh fuck me. And he uh, walks in. The other, the other two. There's an orc in there and a goblin. As he, uh, as he looks over at him, he doesn't actually see you guys at the moment. The other orc and the goblin that are in the room. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening to their reactions as Zug Zug yeah, walks in the room. Uh, let me see if I've got this here. I do. Let me just bring this up quickly. Obviously, I was preparing for this. Yeah, I, that wasn't just like my. There you go. That's uh, that's a zug zug. Oh baby. Lovely. A very Morgan Thorg. He just starts talking to the other the other orc. You can't really make out what they're saying because you're behind the wall. But um, but yeah, he then walks back out the room, and uh, closes the door and go Rocky no there. Hmm. What, wait, what did he say? Rocky, no there. <laughs> I'm relaying this to the others that uh, the pet rock You're about to get there. step on, Daniel. I'd do something, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we go find Rocky. Yeah, okay. We, 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 can, we, can, we, can, we can pretend that we're looking for Rocky with him. Yeah. But we're really just using him to, uh, to get Oh, killed. I thought that was the bad guy who came out of the room. No, 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 no. changed over the model. Oh, okay, all right. Just, all right, just so right, you can right. see, because wow, otherwise they'll all be the same. Yeah, this is Zug Zug. This is Zug Zug. No, he, uh, he walks out of the room and goes, Rocky, no there. Okay. Who was in there, I ask him? Green boys. Green boys. Tell him that uh, the, the biggest one is lying. We know he's got Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking, well, you actually, you, you actually do, can say that. Do you want me to trick him? Do, do you want me to trick him? You're a goblin so, trickster. We're not tricking him. We're verifying <laughs> the facts. There's no, a difference. No, I'm, what you're saying is that we should trick him. Do you want me to trick him? I am him? not trying to trick him. You are trying to trick him. The thing is, if we if we trick him there was. and he doesn't find Rocky, he might stop helping us, right? So I think we've got to we've got to we've got to use him to push on through the rest of the castle. Yeah, we've already tested the limits of the spell. Like it was starting to crackle as uh, as Jimmy threw the beads on the ground. I didn't throw the beans on the ground. I just didn't catch them. Yeah, and they <laughs> spilled. <all> the <laughs> Trent threw them on the ground. <laughs> Um, we no, got, you didn't catch it. Because the next combat that you threw them on the ground, I didn't catch them. them. That's, from that's, <laughs> it's not my fault. What was that, Jackal? <laughs> I said, well, we have a problem here, guys, because the next combat we're in, they're going to come out of that room and attack us from behind. No, they. that's only if we cause too much of a commotion. They didn't come out either of the times that the castle nearly fell apart. Yeah, I think we can save them for later. Yeah. Or, you know, like, we're looking for Dimmy, right? He's not in that room. Let's just keep looking for Dimmy. Right? Dimmy hasn't been in this castle, according to this orc. He's a fucking stupid orc whose best friend is a rock. <laughs> <laughs> so... That may be true, but... <laughs> we might he get hasn't... clues. You might find clues or whatever, you know? Like, I All think... Right. So I think it's best. Should we progress back to through the next room? Yeah, yes. Yeah, go. Let's go south. That's southern. Yeah. Area. So we're we're sending Zog Zog first. Mm. Okay. We're helping him. He's look gonna. For Rocky. He's gonna go down. What are you guys gonna do? 
Yeah, I mean, we're guiding. Okay, right? So really quick, does He's... that door open in or out? The one we just, with the other orcs in, the orc and the goblin in it. And we close, we close this door after us as well. Like... He closed the door behind him. Yeah. And but we does it open this... in or out? Like towards inwards, us or into the room? Inwards. What about the door behind us now? Uh, it opens outwards. Okay, is there anything that I can prop up against that door, even just to slow them down just for a few seconds if they happen to come through? Yes, what you could do is you could make your way around like this, and you could prop it up and go through this door, which just so happens to swing outwardly, so you could also prop that up as well if you wanted to. Brilliant, that's what I'm going to do. We're locking these bastards in. You barricade the two doors. Clever Jackal. I'm going to assume that you had done that. Well done. Yes, I will do that, definitely. <laughs> I'm looking over at Jackal and saying, you're not as dumb as you look. <laughs> 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 be careful when to extricate that healing potion the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're uh, we're tricking Zug Zug into thinking that um, we're looking for. No, no, no! Don't say that we're trick. We are not tricking him. We are looking for the rock. I mean, we're not. I'm not saying that to him. No, in reality, we are searching for the rock. No, we know where we killed the guy that had the rock. And we're walking the opposite direction. How do we know that's the big boss? I mean... Maybe that was big boss's shape. The castle, shape. The castle literally, like, fell in on itself. No, that's not the big boss. He's just a... I don't think that's the big boss. I think no, that was no. one of the big boss's buddies. Yeah, he's not the big boss. Big boss has lots of henchmen. Yeah. Yeah, he's a henchman, not a big boss. He already killed two out of a number of henchmen. Right. All right, so um, send send our send our boy there into the next room. Yep, yep. Go on, Zug Zug. Zug Zug is going to open the room. As he uh, as he goes in, the uh, there's another orc and a goblin in there that uh, that don't hear you. He's talking to them, asking them if they've seen Rocky. <laughs> what are they saying in return? No, they haven't. And he, uh, he walks back out of the room and closes the door behind him. <laughs> All right, we've got to get past this room. Yeah, we're so we're going to have to make a decision here, folks. <laughs> yeah, we have to. We have to clear this room, right? Because there's there's doors out of that. Yeah, one. this time we have to trick him into thinking that they were lying. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ask him where the big boss is. He know Where's no. The... Yeah. He what? He no no. <laughs> They, we think the big boss is behind these uh, this room, so we need to get past this room, and they're they're gonna try to stop us from getting to uh, big boss. Do you get is what I'm saying to him. So we need we need to we need to knock them unconscious uh, to get the uh, to get Rocky. Is what I'm saying. Slice their neck open. Yeah, or yeah. or that. <laughs> you, you, should, you should tell them that uh, that they've got Rocky and they know where he is. Yeah, that'd be reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or what, what are you going to tell them? No, we're, we're telling them that they're trying to stop us from getting to Big Boss. Nah. Who Rocky. Make a deception check for me. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 and my modifier is. What? No. Plus this is uh, He believes you. Yeah. Oh, what Good. an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to, he was a Who would believe us? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you start to you start to see his face start to contort as he uh, as he starts to get visibly enraged, and he's going to run through the door. And uh, combat's going to start now. Yeah, we're readying ourselves, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put guidance on him as well. Put guidance on him, lovely. Yeah. Roll for initiative. No. Oh. oh god, six. <laughs> Unnatural twenty. Natural twenty. Unnatural. Un unnatural. 30, 30, okay. 30, 20. Thirty twenty. Eighteen. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what Sug Sug's initiative? I mean, he's first in the room, so I'm guessing. Sug Sug's he's... first in the room, regardless. Yeah. He uh, he charges in the room, 
and uh, and he gets both his hands out in front of him, and he pins the uh, the orc and the goblin up against the wall by their necks, Ooh. screaming at them. Where's Rocky? Oh, my camera's fucked. Let yeah, your camera's gone off. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Where's Rocky? <laughs> Where the fuck is Rocky, you little bastard? <laughs> We we should go in now, I guess. Eh? Follow it. Yeah, follow we're, him. We're, we we I have to follow him to like understand so that we understand what's happening. Mm. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Dale. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm right. I'm I'm actually gonna run past him uh, so that I'm give him way to you guys, and also so that I'm closest to the goblin, so I can actually like. Hurt the goblin in case we ne I need to. Mm. So I don't have to fight the orc. A few seconds. Clever, clever Dadle not oh, fighting. Oh, so the goblin king is gonna hurt the goblin. Yeah, I mean these are uh, we we've tried saving these goblins and there's just no way I'm doing it. This this castle is doomed. <laughs> this yeah. is a goblin trap. <laughs> Can't believe Zug Zug's still alive. To be honest. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Zug Zug not be alive. A lucky a lucky retcon for Zug Zug. <laughs> Mate, think about all the rewards you're gonna get when you uh, when you find Rocky. Mmm. Yeah, good point, Gem and Dev. Riches beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> Jim's still, still going ghost. <laughs> 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 That's true. Jim has what three disadvantages or something? Yeah, two minus, minus two. two to every roll for three terms. Yep. That's what it is. Thank you. <laughs> yep, no problem. No problem. It was worth it, wasn't it? I, I attempted a backwards roll in honor of Wait. Sir Dimrath. <laughs> for the time this session, you already met, managed it once. To then screw you out of actually shooting the orc. <laughs> Jim, you got another three turns of debuff left on you. Yep, no problem, no problem. You what you guys can do, you're, feet on it too. you're filtering in. What the rest of you guys doing? That's it. We're just filtering in, ready to uh, ready to strike. I'll wait on this, not the other side of the door there. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just making sure nothing's coming from behind. Make a <laughs> make a perception check, Jack Ball. What's this being so scared of something well, entering you from behind? Because <laughs> I've, I've, you know, Dadle, I've DM'd a few uh, sessions myself. <laughs> he knows how it works. <laughs> 12, sir. Uh, you start to hear banging from the two doors that you barricaded and shouting. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. I'm going to, um, oh, shit. Let's see. So there's, so we got three, four in there. Okay, so. Um, the door opens, so whichever way the door opens, so for instance, if it opens inward right to left, I'm going to jump on whichever chest it opens away from so that when something starts emerging, I get an attack of opportunity there. Oh. You jump on the chest. And I, I'll go in the corner of the I room. See. How, how nimbly bimbly Jack will uh, jumps off on that uh, chest. And I nod. I'm not doing a forward roll into a half he's not, doing a, he's, yeah, he's not doing a He's not doing a roll into it. He's fine. Yeah, right. So no, I'll, I'll stand okay. in the corner of the, the room. I right? use my left hand and I place it on the chest while putting my right foot on top. <laughs> I'll stand in the corner of that room and, and ready my bow, ready for what what's coming through this one or the yeah one? yeah this one yeah exactly there exactly there and then i'll get cock with me as well yep demon cock and then there we go trend what are you doing um i'm trying to just prep an action in case things what do you want to prep? really fast um my probably sword so my rapier yeah, yeah. you are you ready in action if, uh, if anything comes there you can get an attack of opportune hmm so uh, Zog Zog's got them pinned up against the wall, and he uh, he starts shouting at the uh, at the goblin on the right of him. He's pinned up with his right arm, going, "You know where Rocky is. 
and the uh, the goblin starts screaming no no and he goes wrong answer and literally crushes his head <laughs> with his hands as uh, it explodes and the goblin drops to the ground <laughs> boy howdy uh, uh, as he as he does that I uh, shout or not shout but loudly like ask like in a stern voice where's big boss uh to the orc that's uh being pinned up with his left hand he's uh he's in sheer panic mode at the moment as he's been pinned to the wall <laughs> and he uh he's not he's not happy he's uh he's he's about to start crying he's uh he thinks he's gonna die <laughs> yeah you're gonna die if you don't tell us where big boss is where's big boss yeah, he, uh, he points to the the room to the left. Mm. Yeah, so can we like tie him up or something? I don't think I don't think Zug Zug will be sated by tying up. I don't think be very happy with that, to be honest. Zug <laughs> <laughs> Zug like, like smashing his head. In, he, uh, he asks. He turns to the left and uh, and asks the orc if he knows where Rocky is. The orc shakes his uh, shakes his head and uh, and starts starts squealing. And uh, Zogzo goes, wrong answer, as he starts pounding the orc's head into the wall behind him. Um, <laughs> Zogzo is my friend, but he doesn't move anymore. <laughs> rubble starts uh, flying from uh, flying from the ceiling as it starts to crumble and cave in somewhat. Try and make a dex check for me. Okay. <laughs> Natural one. Natural one. Uh, a piece of rubble falls from the ceiling and hits you on the head. You are knocked unconscious for one turn. <laughs> Jim, the uh, the exit behind you now is uh, is now covered, and you're going to have to climb through it if you want to get back through that door. Oh shit! A load of rocks have just fallen on Tren. <laughs> right. Wait, which which door? Then. Which door did the orc point at? Didn't he point at the one the behind door me? To your left over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, so Tren right. needs to come into my room, or is he in our room? Hmm? Is Jim in our room, or is he in No, Jimmy's Jackals? in the room over, but the uh, some rocks have fallen on Tren and knocked <laughs> her out, unfortunately. Tell, tell uh, Dadel that these guys are coming through this door here. It's your yeah. turn, uh, Jack Bull. Has the door opened? No. You can hear I'm them with... throwing and tossing out the chairs and the and the wood and the stones and bits that you've placed in front of the door. I am I'm I'm just waiting. Prepare an attack of opportunity. If they walk into your range, you can have an attack. The, minute, the first thing that comes through there gets one right on the friggin' skull. Perfect. Yeah, me too. Is they're getting a they're getting an arrow to the face as well. Dale, your turn. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna like um, make my way make my way over to Tren and uh, like. Make sure that she's okay. Um, prep her up, like take her away from the rubble, so so that they can actually come through this room into this room, uh, and we can like when she wakes up, she can make her way out. And then I'm gonna alert Sug Sug to the fact that uh, baddies are coming from behind. They're you're gonna, gonna uh, you're gonna pull Tren away. Tren, yeah. you're uh, you're stabilized now. He manages to uh, to slap you a couple of times on the face. <laughs> you, uh, as you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going um, to Zug, Zug, is, Zug Zug is not listening to anything you're saying. He's just repeatedly pounding the uh, <laughs> repeatedly pounding the orc against the against the wall. Nice. All right. Now, if you look closely, there's actually a, an arrow slit here on the wall, and the uh, the orc's head is literally getting crushed through the arrow slit. He's squelching. Zug Zug is crying, going, where's Rocky? As he smashes the orc's head through the, uh, through the arrow slip. <laughs> oh, God. He really misses Rocky, like, so much. Oh, poor Zug Zug. I feel right. bad about killing Zug Zug. Yeah. Dado, what do you want? To so you just done yours. Jim, now. We may not have to kill him. He may let us, you know, let's find him his damn rock, man. Mm. Yeah, find rock. Yeah, I'm. I'm just waiting for these fuckers coming through this You're door, ready, to, ready to shoot. Trent, what do you want to do? Ready to shoot. Um. Any potions you want to chug? Any any scrolls you want to use? Any spells you want to sling? I do. I do have an interesting scroll, but I don't think now is the time for it. Um. <laughs> I think I'll just prepare to attack someone again. 
there's nobody for you to attack in here at the moment. Yeah, I'll just wait. Okay. Cool, I'm still cool. reeling from getting my head hit with the water. Or with <laughs> no the worries. with the water. <laughs> with the rocks. Right. Mm. Combat is now reset. It's now Zug Zug's turn again. At this point, the orc's head has literally gone through the arrow slip. And he's uh, he's picked up the orc by the legs, and he's uh, he's trying to push the neck through the arrow slit as well as he's repeatedly smashing it against. Uh, he manages to get a shoulder through before letting go and letting the orc's half mangled body smash down onto the ground. Wow! What a bad. Can, I, slain. can I now alert so so to the fact that the orcs or, or that uh, we talked earlier. They were lying, and they're coming to try and stop you from getting uh, rocky. Make a make a perception check. Well, actually, a deception check here because you're lying to him. Yeah, nat twenty. Nat twenty. He, uh, you just about managed to get his attention as he's uh, he's starting to kick the orc body on the ground. But you uh, <laughs> you walk up to him, and you put your you put your hand on his hand, and you clasp it, and you get his attention. Yeah. And uh, you explain to him that the uh, the orcs coming from the other room are here to take Rocky. Yeah. And while I'm doing this, I'm also uh, making like anxious checks uh, and trying <coughs> to hear anything from the door behind me. You hear murmuring. There's a lot of murmuring in this. Uh, in this I'm, I'm a little, I'm a Wait, I mean, it's, I mean, it's hard to tell. You can't really. T you don't speak Orcish, and it's behind doors and walls. You know, yeah. it's hard to tell. Bit I'm alert to this fact that there's murmuring coming from behind that door as well. No worries. Right, Jack Bull. At this point, the uh, the door flies open, and the goblin walks through first, which triggers your attack of opportune. Just knocked the piss out of him. <laughs> What are you using? Your staff? Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. You can attack for a with there. advantage. A you can have a plus four swing, to it. Dude. I'm talking friggin' Albert Pujols, man. Double grip. Come yep. right on around. I'm knocking that head right over the fence. You can have a plus four to it. Is he gonna die, like, instantly? I really? can have a minus two to mine. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Nineteen. Nineteen. How does it die? It's freaking, I just, I blow his head back right into the orc behind him. Does it just obliterate into a red mist? Lovely. Now that, uh, that goblin just drops dead onto the floor, his head severed off and nice. uh, and hitting the goblin behind him. That's another Very notch dead. for the old, uh, for my staff. <laughs> is. Uh, Jim, as you're from that angle, you can see the, uh, the orc and your attack of opportune triggers. You can have a plus Ooh. two to it. Uh, you've obviously got. I've taken. You would have had a plus four, but I've taken off your plus two for your concussion. Oh wow! Oh, I've rolled um, like it lords. is a. It is a, a decent. Oh wait, no. Twenty six. Uh, you're gonna. You're not actually gonna get any bonus, so it'll be twenty four. But that's fine because yep. you're uh, you're within within a short range. Uh, roll for damage. Mm -hmm. uh, eight damages. Eight damage. You are uh, you hit him in the eye socket. Oh. As, it, as it goes straight through, he starts stumbling around, and you see the arrow uh, come out the back of his head as it's gone straight through. Lovely. The fletching uh, just jammed in the front. Lovely. Nice. <laughs> uh, Trent, what are you going to do here? You hear this commotion? Um. Probably, let's see. If I move outside the door, can mm -hmm. I see anyone to attack? Uh, you'd have to climb over the rubble here, but you can the see rubble, the rubble. Yeah, you can see the. Okay, orc. I'll probably climb over and charge him and try and hit him with my sword. Go for it. Um. <laughs> Do you get a natural one. <laughs> Luckily, I, I have a plus six. Um, eight. What did you What did you get? Oh, so you got a two. two. Yeah. I mean, nice. it doesn't hit him, unfortunately. As you're uh, as you're swinging your are you were you using a rapier or a sword? A rapier. All right. As you're uh, as you're lunging forward with it, you uh, you slip on some of the rubble on the floor that's been created from Zug Zug smashing the uh, the the orc <laughs> through the arrow slip. 
and uh, and you you fall forward um, in front of the orc. He's, uh, he's too preoccupied though with the arrow literally embedded into his eye to notice you. Perfect. Right. Uh, Dado, your turn. All right. Uh, well, that orc's gonna die without my help, so I'm trying. I'm gonna try to make sure that Sug Sug's attention is uh, gonna get turned back to the room behind yep. us again. You explain uh, to him. Zog Zog moves through into the other room, barging past you. Well, no, no, I meant the other way. Oh, the other way, this way. Yeah, because like they're gonna take care of that orc, and that's the last of the orcs there, right? Yeah. And we're gonna need to make sure, and that, like we're gonna have to deal with what comes next. Yeah. Um, and that's this room, and uh, this is the Zog Zog knows that this is the, the, the direction, right? That the they were pointing at in this direction, saying big boss is in there, and he, he knows the big boss is Rocky. So I'm getting him motivated, and I'm putting guidance on him again. Yeah, and okay. I'm putting guidance on him. Give him a pep talk. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Motivator. Right, back around to you, Jack Paul. All right, so this orc, is this orc standing over Tread? Is Tread in the way? Uh, he's he's flailing around with the arrow in his eye. Tread's yeah, currently I'll, on the floor. I'll give him the butt end right to his throat. <laughs> yep, go for it. 24. Yeah, you hit. Wait, Corbin, I can't leave I, Zug Zug to his own. Blood starts spewing from his uh, throat as he falls back onto the floor, dead. Hey, another notch for the staff, baby. <laughs> Very nice. Trent, you compose yourself and get up, I assume? Yep. <laughs> Very nice. Combat is temporarily over. Lovely. Let's uh, let's climb over doing? the rubble and. Uh... You're kicking down the next door. Yeah, they are. No, no, fun. no. I think at this point we have. Uh, so these chests that are in here. Any yep. keys on the wall? Any? Nope. They all have locks tables? on them, but there are some basic weapons on the wall. I mean, so I don't think we have time for this. Zug Zug's in no, a hold rage. On, hold on. What, is there anything that like matches up for Zug Zug? Like, I know he's got a wooden club. Is there a big mace? Is there an axe? Is there a? Is there you are, you see, a, there a is a big, big orcish shield on the wall. Oh, there we go. Let's get him a shield. <laughs> let's grab. Let's 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 there let's are two, tell him. Two orcish shields on the wall. Let's tell him that uh, that Rocky would approve of a shield. <laughs> Because he's got to protect Rocky with the shield. Or I'm assuming you like... relay all of this, Dadle. Dadle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he walks into the room. He uh, he sees the shields on the wall. And uh, he picks up one, slots it onto his left arm, looks at the other shield, drops his, uh, his log mace on the floor, grabs it <laughs> off the wall, and slots two shields onto him, one on each arm. Oh, that's we'll do that. That's great, man. <laughs> it's got to tumble in like this. We got, we got a battering ram, boys and girls. <laughs> Dogs are uh, as he turns around, he sees you, Tren, and he uh, he turns around, smiles, and pats you on the head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my head! It's, yeah, it's quite it's quite concussion. forceful to you, but to him, yeah. it's, uh, it's a nice gentle pat. <laughs> concussion. Do feel really nice. <laughs> my concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Right. Are you gonna guys can position for the next room? Hell yes, yep. we, we got a battery gram. Go for it. Yeah, Who's I mean, going in first? We, we can't stop Sug Sug from Zug going Zug, in first. Yeah, he's Zug enraged, Zug. right? Uh, he's not, because he's uh, he's had a bit to calm down. He's got his two shields. Right. Okay. Well, so, he's, he's still motivated, and I've put guidance on him. And like um, I, he knows that in here is probably the big boss, and, yeah. or someone that's preventing him from getting oh, rocky. Sug Sug opens the door, walks in. You hear some uh, some chatting coming out from him. He uh, he comes back, closes the door behind him, and goes, "Rocky, no there." No, but there are more big guys. I, I I'm gonna have to go through this again. Uh, the same lie again. They're they're trying <laughs> to. It's the it's make a deception check. Trying to stop you from getting to Big Boss, who has make, make a deception Rocky. check. 
Uh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, 11. He, uh, his intelligence is very low, so uh, he uh, believes yeah, you. Like <laughs> you're fine. Phew. So he goes rocky, and then he uh, he smashes open the door. Rocky. <laughs> he smashes through the door with his two shields. The uh, the door's flying off the hinge. Um, from what you can see in the room, there is another orc, there is a goblin, and there is a drow. Oh, What's that? Mm, a uh, a That's dark a elf. Right. I'm so a strange, drow. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Do Combat I recognize? Is now initiated again. Okay. Do you recognize we... that they're a drow? Do I recognize that they're a drow? You do. It's very obvious. Do I, do I know them, perhaps? <laughs> uh, you do not know them, though. You know all the drows. <laughs> Make a you never trend. know. Make, make a I, they, they might be, they they might be from my small ground, town. So. Um. <laughs> 21. Uh, you remember that spider crest that you saw? Yes. It's uh, it's emblazoned on their on their clothing. I thought you were gonna say on their forehead, but okay. <laughs> no, it's emblazoned on their clothing. Okay. Interesting. Well, Not I would like to. Interesting as if it was on their forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't kill the drow. I want to capture him or her alive and torture What's them. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> the drow throws out a, uh, a distraction device, and there's a, there's a poof of smoke in front of you, and spiders start crawling across the floor as he's able to, to sneak out the back door over here. Mm. Right. I, I run after him, <laughs> if I can. <laughs> you can't get past Zugzug at the moment. Yeah. So Zugzug <laughs> is standing in the doorway, and uh, he, sees the, he sees the goblin, and he sees the orc, and yeah, he goes into an enrage. And he Did rolls a roll? natural. He rolls a natural oh. twenty. So Zugzug Zug is going to charge forward. He puts the two shields together in a plow formation, <laughs> and starts running at the goblin and the uh, running at the goblin and the orc. Let's quickly reset the music. I am loving this. <laughs> <laughs> I am a big fan of Zugzug. Zug. <laughs> so Zugzug Zug runs forward. He uh, he hits the first. He hits the first orc. He hits him, and he deals. 14 points of damage as the uh, as the orc goes flying across the room, <laughs> smacks into the wall. Uh, the orc's arm is torn off and strewn across the floor. Jesus. As Ogso keeps going with the momentum. And let's have a look. He's going to splat the fuck out of this goblin, Jesus. As Ogso rolls a natural one, he, uh, oh. he slips on the floor. Um, as, uh, somebody's left a mess on the floor. So you see there's some blood that's uh, been left with on the floor. His, anything with his guidance to avoid this. He cannot. Right. But he um he basically goes flying forward and he uh he squashes the uh the goblin and the pancakes straight on the floor. <laughs> Splat. Does the shields like drop below? He, he lands on top of the shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's basically Zug Zug shield splatted goblin. You've seen you you've seen you've seen you see the end of Terminator. <laughs> Jack Bull Blast dying. You see the end of Terminator. I don't remember it. I remember one where the Terminator like sinks into lava. No, no, that's Terminator Two. Terminator yeah. One is when he gets smashed by the friggin' metal press. Mm. Right. It is now Jack Bull's turn. I'm assuming Trent. As soon as he's moved, you're pushing through, right? Yep. Yeah, you do. That. Yep, yep. Do do. Here's a question. I know you've talking about like you've talked about common. Is that so? Do do high elves speak like high elf language as well? Yes, you speak elvish. Do drow speak elvish the same as high elves? Or do they um, have their own? Languages? It would be a different dialect. In the same way that Daedal can understand orcs, you can understand each other's native tongue, but it's not. It's not an exact match, if that makes sense. Right. In the same way that Slovak languages derive from the from the same language, and they have a lot of similarities, and you can understand each other somewhat. Swedish and Danish. Yeah, another example, yeah, Swedish and Danish. Right. So they understand us because we speak properly, but I can't <laughs> understand them because they got their mouth full of potato and porridge. 
<laughs> well, they sound better if they've got the mouth full of potatoes. <laughs> 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 right. It is now. So, Jack Bull, it's your turn. I I gotta go in the room. You go into the room. Yeah, I gotta go into the room. Okay. So, on that door to the right, is that Make barricaded? Is that what's in front of it? Door. Say again. Make a perception check as you look at the door to your right. Thirteen. It's half open. Does it open in or open out? Inwards. And I'll get right up uh, again, same position for when uh, it, uh, if, whenever somebody emerges. And inwards just, into, uh, inwards right. into the room. Yeah, that's fine. If, if somebody opens that door inward and they start coming as out. You, uh, like, as you peek through into the room, you uh, you see there is an owlbear in there getting on armor. He's scrambling, getting on armor. An owl bear. An owl bear. I'm gonna look up at uh, Dave. Dado's not even in the room. I'm gonna uh, Zug Zug. Uh, yeah, I follow Zug Zug in. On his like... uh, on his back, by the way. You uh, you see on the back of his armor, there is a BB emblazoned on the back of it, which you put two and two together is a big boss. On the back of the owl bear. Yeah, on the back of his armor. Okay. Um, Zug Zug, big boss, Rocky. Zug Zug is currently. Face down on the ground. On the goblin. Under the shields. Dado, get him up, Dado. Dado, get him up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what can I do? Um, to get him up. Just tell him to get his ass up. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing that, obviously, but I'm going to see if like I can do something else to like make sure that it actually happens. Tell him to get up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to make sure that it actually happens. Oh. As, uh, as you can see, Zug Zug has basically made his way to his knees, and he's uh, he's repeatedly smashing the shields into the floor on top of the goblin, screaming, "Tell me where Rocky is!" Nice. As he's uh, he's pounding the corpse of that goblin flat. Dado, tell him Rocky's in here. Rocky's in here. The, the channel divinity. What does that do? Uh, I'd have to double check that. Have sure I you noticed? Can use it once per turn. Go on. Fault Force, has Patea put two and two together yet about the necklace? That's up to you. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. You looted a necklace last session. I did indeed. Do Candle I want Divinity to see? It's basically the. I can't remember how the know fuck it see. works. I can channel divine energy to cause an effect. The save for this is make clarity. It's, it's, it's basically it's basically a miracle of your choosing. Yeah. So I'm gonna Within make reason. sure. I'm gonna the make sure. That the, the, exactly. The, the miracle <laughs> is making sure. That for example, you could you could get like the fuck up. You could and, get divine strength and pull him up to his uh, pull him up to his feet. For example, pull him oh, off. Just make him intelligent enough. No, don't up. make him intelligent because then he'll no, he'll realize. Don't make him intelligent enough to get up. I hate and you, Jim. I hate you. <laughs> he's not gonna be. At, he's not gonna be intelligent. He's gonna be like clever enough to like be able to stabilize himself. With he's, he's already clever shoes. enough. He's just enraged as he smacks. Yeah, but just pull him off. Make but yourself strong and pull him off. I fell on his ass. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna make myself strong enough to pull him up. Then. <laughs> You uh, Said pull you, him uh off. what weapon have you got? <laughs> no, pull him up. I didn't say pull him off. What what weapon have you got, Dadel? I have uh, two daggers and uh, what else do I have? You um, you Nothing put your else. hand up to the sky, and uh, some tears start rolling down your face as they burn marks into your face, um, <sighs> literally leaving like black char marks on your face. As a, as a beam of light comes down uh, into your hand and empowers you. Uh, you are now the size of, uh, of Zug Zug for two turns. What? All right. I'm pulling Zug Zug up and I'm charging with him through that fucking door, screaming, Big Boss is in here and he's got the fucking rock. <laughs> 
So I'm charging with Zug Zug through that door. You pull him up, make a deception check. <laughs> this orc over here, by the way, is slowly bleeding out on the floor. Yeah, nice. I'm, I'm just assuming yeah, he's he, a he goner. He doesn't seem attentive to you guys at all. <laughs> he's more, he's more uh, upset by the fact that 12. his arm has been tossed off. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, twelve on the deception. Twelve on the deception. Uh, yeah, you deceive him. Yeah. So cool. we're we're basically charging, like picking up pace. Uh, and that door that is half open or just it's squintingly open. I'm I'm um making sure, like as we pick up pace through the room. I'm <laughs> messaging uh, Jack Bull to like, as we get close, he's gonna like smash open the door so that we don't have to like uh, trip on it or anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as you, so you guys start running down full pelt. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's gonna happen in a moment. Jimmy, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna go through into the room, look around, see what's going on. There is an orc on the floor <laughs> with an arm that's been knocked off and he's spurting blood. And I'm now Zug Zug. You see Zug Zug just sprint past you, yep. full pelt. Uh, so I look, I look to see where he's going. Do I, do I see, do I see the uh, the the owl bear or not? Uh, you do not. I do not. Uh, and then, and I guess I look at is 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 Patea chasing this? This is running out of the door here. You don't know why. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> everyone, everyone with Jack Bull is running through the yeah, room. Everyone's running, everyone's running in all directions. <laughs> Jack Bull doing the only sensible thing here. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you know do you know Booker T in the Spinneroonie Fault Force? I do not. I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> Probably gonna require an acrobatics roll. <laughs> Oh, oh, explain it. it to me. explain to me what you do, Jim. <laughs> oh, I literally can. He, he, <laughs> he, um, he like he goes, he stands there, and like he he spins around on the floor somehow, and then stands back up. It's it's amazing. You've just you know you've you've got to see it. Yeah. Okay. Make a dexterity check. Oh God! <laughs> I roll. <laughs> I roll the four. <laughs> Minus two. <laughs> That's with my minus two. Yeah, yeah. You are. Uh, you go into the spinner Rooney gym, and you are. Uh, you slip on the floor and the blood, and you are. Uh, you smack your head on the bench here, and you receive oh. another two turns of concussion. Oh, diced again. Diced uh, again. You're in. You're in the protocol now, Jim. Demon <laughs> <laughs> Cox turn. Oh do, yeah. Do I, do I see this? Because like that would break my chart. <laughs> no, you've gone past me already. Yeah, already you've gone, gone past, past me already. Good. Nobody Good. sees his shame apart from Jack. Basically, I'm sitting like fall over laughing during my mid chart. dancing. There's a giant dadle. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess Demon Cock is gonna is gonna follow is gonna follow Patea. That's reasonable, isn't it? Gotta follow one of them. Demon Cock is gonna follow Patea. Right, Patea, you're running through as you uh, as you charge out the door here. You uh, you see the drow, but you also see Dimmy there. Dimrath! Yes, Dimrath! <laughs> um he doesn't pay attention to you, he's running away with the drow. Oh. Hey, Dimrath! He's been turned into an evil NPC. You shout at him, but you find it odd that he's not responding to Dimrath. Mm -hmm. I chuck a dagger at the drow. Go for it. Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen. Uh, as you throw the dagger uh, in midair, the drow literally spins around flicking its cloak, and your dagger goes flying back across the uh, the room, hitting the stone wall behind you. Whoa. As he deflects it. He's a monk. You, uh, you see his glowing red eyes as he starts scowling at you and staring you down. I scowl back, trying to intimidate him. <laughs> <laughs> as that's going off, we are, we're going to go with Zug Zug and Dadle. Yeah. What are you doing here, Jack Paul? Are you going to kick the door open? 
Yeah, I'll just hold it up. But I'm going to make sure that I'm the fuck out of the way of this guy with his two shields, dude. If, if I feel for one second he's going to make contact with you, I'm going to let him just blow the doors down. So he's uh, he's running forward at full speed. Make a, make a perception check. Or make an intelligence check, actually, please. Shit, let's see here. What is my... A zero to so five. Five? Five. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. No stress. Zog Zog goes smashing forwards with his two shields in plow formation. Jackball, you get blown back slightly as he smashes through the door. The uh, the rock falling and caving in slightly. Uh, you're not going to take any damage. You just stumble back a little bit. As he's going to go charging through and he's going to pin the owlbear against the wall. Yeah, Daniel, I'm, I assume I'm you're right. going in behind him, right? Yeah, right behind him. And uh, as he pins him, I'm going to start lunging unarmed attacks because I'm not pulling out my daggers for this. I'm using the strength and, like, my eyes are glowing. Um, and you just start punching at this owlbear. For, for, as, for as black as, like, the singes are from where, where the spell uh, and the tears, uh, could, like, burn their marks, as much like as as bright are my eyes at this point, burning uh, with the with the like the inspiration I feel of of like being this big for once. Yeah. <laughs> Vindication. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna make the most fucking most out of it. So I'm starting to punch this owl bear. <laughs> you start punching at the owl bear. Um, you start hitting face. his blood blood flying off of his face. <laughs> Jack Bull, what are you doing? I'm moving in and I'm going to take a swing with my uh, with my staff at the Albert. There would be no space for you currently. There is a big orc and there is a fuck off big goblin next to him who's been <laughs> empowered. You wouldn't be able to. You'd be able to to slot your staff through and maybe get a jab <laughs> if you wanted to. So, so here's the here's the question. I wanted to do an attack and then flurry of blows following up immediately, which is an unarmed attack. Yeah, is that possible? Do I think it would be difficult? Um, these two are literally pounding on the owlbear in the corner. Right. And I'll just take a regular. Just I'll just take the attack with the staff then, and I'll I'll save my key points. Go for it. Twenty-three. Yeah, you hit. Seven points. Yep, noted. His uh, his face gets more bloodied. At this point, as you uh, as you guys are pounding on him, the Albert raises his hand up to the uh, to the sky, and you see it start to glow as he uh, as he throws a spell down to the ground. Oh, as uh, Zug Zug goes flying across the room, so does Daedal and Jack Ball. You do. Can you all make? Uh, acrobatic saving throws, please. <laughs> you haven't got the practice like I have. <laughs> Keep doing that, Jim, and you'll be proficient one day. <laughs> Natural 20 into a 25. Nat Natural 20. 20. Nat 20. <laughs> you, uh, you get a nat, nat 20 as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, what does Zog Zog get? Zog Zog gets a nat 1. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You didn't roll that. You just decided it. <laughs> Legitimately, Zogzo got a natural one. No, you decided no, it. Legit. <laughs> right. You are. You managed to stabilize yourself, and uh, I'm assuming Jack Ball that you'd, uh, with your with your training, you'd kick yourself back off the wall as you've uh, you slid across the ground, charging forward, and you can have an extra attack. Okay. Can I? Will I be able to key this into a flurry of blows? Of course you can. Okay. So staff first. Yep. <laughs> so you you've slid back across the ground. You've uh, you've caught your foot on the wall behind you, and you've pushed off into into a sprint forward. So that's an eighteen. Eighteen. You hit him for nine points. Yep. You hit him. Is that a shoulder? You hit him in the shoulder. It smacks back into the wall. So use a key point and go immediately into blur flurry of blows, which is two unarmed attacks. Yep. 19 and 18. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hit, hit both. So 1 plus 3, 4 damage. 2 plus 3, 5 damage. And yep. then as a result, he's knocked off of his feet and onto the and, uh, prone. 
Yeah, he gets knocked onto the ground. How much damage did you do all together? Oh god, you would ask me that. Let nine. me see. Nine, nine plus four plus... Was it nine plus four plus five? Yeah, so that's eight, reasonable. Eight. You've, uh, you've broken his shoulder as he's smacked down to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Dadle, what are you going to do? You can have a bonus action for rolling yeah. a natural 20. Give him the people's elbow. People's elbow. I'm, I'm yes. fucking inspired from being this big, so I don't take any damage like being hurled into across the room. All I do is like, uh, same as Jackpot, I get like catapulted and then like spring off the wall instead, like with renewed vigor and energy. And I jump up and body slam the owl bear that's on the floor now <laughs> and elbow him <laughs> square in the Lovely. face. <laughs> yeah, you elbow him straight in the face. Go for a, go for an unarmed strike and you can have three damage to it. <laughs> so the unarmed strike is D4, is it? Uh, you need to roll to hit first. All right. Uh, so I rolled a 15 and what do I add? Uh, you can add... Yeah, you hit him there. You hit him. Alright. The goblin's elbow. And do I roll a d6 for the damage, or...? Uh, what's... Jackball, what's your unarmed strike? You got upgraded, uh, right? My unarmed strike for damage is 1d4 plus 3. So I mean, roll my, a d4 my... plus... You add d4 plus 2 here, Dadel. Yeah, right. Uh, so... That's a Actually, four. no, you're, you're oversized. So add a... Add a plus 6. <laughs> I rolled a 4 on the d4. So you deal 10 points of damage. As you uh, as you Oof. elbow him in the back, you hear a crunch. And I land square on top of him as well, uh, yeah. with my body. Zug Zug's in the corner, he's been knocked out, his, uh, his two shields strewn across to the side. <laughs> I'm gonna roll off of the Albear in the same motion, by the way. Yeah, you're on the floor, though, when you roll off. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, um... Fault for is I forgot to. I, I apologize. I made a mistake. He has to make a dexterity save or become knocked prone. His dexterity is shit. He's knocked prone. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> I just realized that. I apologize. That's all good. Jim, your turn. An owl right. bear. He has no dex. <laughs> you, are, you make your way no, to your feet, Jim. Yeah. You know? You're uh, you're dazed and confused. Yeah, I'll groggily stand up. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. Um, can I see the owl bear or, or anything? Can, can you hear the commotion through your... You can hear the commotion, yeah. The, the, the door's been knocked off its hinges. There's a big fuck-off hole in the wall from where Zug Zug charged through. Mm. I'll, can I, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll go towards there, but I'll look, out, I'll look out the doorway and see what's happening with Patea on my way to, like, investigate. Because I don't really know what's happening at all here. There's an owlbear in here. I just put my head... Girl, I can't see the owlbear, can I? Like, you I can. I haven't seen the it. Door. Yeah, because there's I a big see... hole in the wall here. Right, so I can see the owlbear. And now I'll have a look around the corner here and see what's going on here as well. You can see Patea, your drow, and Dimmy. <gasps> Dimmy? There's Dimrath there. Um... Dimrath looks like he's about to go into a forward roll. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious brother. Um, oh god, this is a drow. Yeah, how how intimidating is this drow? Very, <laughs> very intimidating. Clad in uh, clad in all black, they got spider uh, spider insignias on them. Spider. And uh, Tren looks scared shitless as a uh, dagger has been knocked out of the air by its clunk. Oh man. Um. I guess I can. Well, I guess I guess. D oh, he might. I don't. Even, I don't. I don't even hurt my cock. <laughs> um, th th it's looking bad. It's looking bad, isn't it, for demon cock here? Th these you both. You could seem, finish off an orc there. You could go for the owlbear. They both seem very powerful enemies. Um, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll. Uh, can I? I could have a shot. I could shoot one of them, couldn't I? You could. Or who? Fucking shoot at us! We're three friendlies in here, and you're double. Yeah, you, if you're going to shoot at the owl bear, you have a chance of hitting all of the others. Right, I'll, I'll shoot at the drow then. I'll shoot at the drow. You, you wouldn't be able to with the way that you're positioned. There's not much space. Well, I'll... you could hit the orc that's there on the floor, slowly bleeding He's out. He's bleeding out. That's useless, isn't it? Is this only single file then possible in that? Basically, single then... file and a bit. 
And they're all around the LB. I can't do anything. I'll I'll go and execute. I'll execute that orc. You're gonna by, execute the orc by by arrow to the. Dome. You walk up to him and oh, you yeah. uh you stand over him. Yeah. 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 How does arrow. how does he die, Jim? What do you say to him? What's his what are your last what's his last words? <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> I'll say. Yeah. So you, Jim, you can't shoot an arrow over the prone body of Zug Zug into the Albert. No, I can't. I can't. That's what I, t I got told. I might hit one of you. I get on my dagger. I get on my dagger and I go up to him and I say, "This is for Rocky." <laughs> yes. yes that's exactly the what I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> right through, right through the base of the, right through the bottom of the chin. There, boom, straight in. That's for Rocky. Right there, we go. I've done. Yeah, I've contributed. The blades slide in and uh, and you pull out. As blood starts to trickle out of his mouth, as he uh, he grabs your <laughs> arm. Just say that he slides it and pulls no. out. As, as he, uh, he slides the he slides the dagger in and pulls it out of his throat, and uh, and as you do this, Jimmy, uh, he grabs onto the arm that you've uh, you've used for the for the dagger, no. and then uh, slowly fades away as his grip loosens. Phew, phew. Good, great kill, Jim. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I helped. You're one of us. That, that's exactly what I was gonna do with the owl, with the owl bear. What is doing? Um, I think he's, can he get in this little area with a drow and dimmy? Be difficult. Be difficult. Be difficult. He might get trodden on. Uh, he's just gonna he's just gonna stay with me in case in case I can yeah. contribute in some meaningful way. <laughs> Stop concussing yourself and you yeah, make, yeah. make a perception check, Jim. Oh, okay. Oh, not 20. On the table behind you, there is a veritable selection of caltrops, Molotov cocktails, etc., etc. You can have anything reasonably that you want from that table. Oh, oh. Um, well, again, I'm not sure how, how... Small amounts of explosives as well. Oh, explosives. Oh, yeah, I'll take the yes, explosives. Yes, I'll yes. take the explosives. Small little pack of dynamite. You're going to take that? Yeah, I'll take the else? dynamite. So nat don't, 20, you can have another item. Don't forward roll with those. What, what are my choices of the other items? Anything you want reasonably. Anything I want reasonably. Explosives, caltrops, Molotov cocktails. Might be some potions there. Anything you want reasonably. Potions. I, don't, I mean, I don't... I, I, my anything you can to... use to develop the story, Jim. Use yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're asking well, what, what now. What do you want to do? Do you want to start a fire? Do you want to set off some explosions? Do you want to... There's a, there's a bowler there. I, I the just table. want to contribute in some meaningful way to this Jim, fight. You are, you unfortunately, there's no fight. space where the drow and Dimmy are, and then the other th the other fuckers are getting in the way of the Jim, owlbear. You, you spot down to the side. There is a set of bowlers on the uh, on the ground there that you can pick up. Okay, I'll take that. You pick up the bowlers. Mm, I pick up the bowlers. Tren, your turn. <laughs> I just put a piece of pineapple in my mouth. <laughs> Lovely. I want a potion of speed. You can have a potion of speed, sure. Thanks. We're going to assume that you chugged it as well, yeah? Yeah, and I'll chug it. You can have double So movement. who's Ooh. who's winning the intimidation off? Me or the other drow? <laughs> uh, nobody's intimidating at the moment. You're staring at each other. He, uh, he puts his hand out in front of you. He goes, child of darkness. Child Brother of, of silence. <laughs> 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 what kind of bullshit are you speaking? Join you can us. speak English here. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> we are Al Slytherin. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> yeah, he sighs and goes, I thought we were one of the same. As he, uh, um, as he fucks web out of his hand and uh, sticks you to the wall. Nope. You are you fucking Spider Man or something? Dude? Gross! Get this off of me! Ew! <laughs> uh, make a make a strength check if you want to uh, if you want to break free from it. Yeah. <laughs> In multiple migs. <laughs> Seventeen strength. You managed to tear it off the wall. You've got webs stuck to the front of you. <laughs> Can I just walk? Do I st do I stop movement in my action? Yeah, of course you do. Okay, I walk right up to him and try and stab him right between the eyes. As you're as you're walking forward, he uh, he throws another he throws another couple of webs this time down at your feet, uh, pair <sighs> both of them to the ground. What do you want with Dimrath? 
he uh, he smirks at you, and uh, and just slowly starts to walk off. Dimrath, help us! Can I can Come I run after us. him because we I've got you. an extra turn in the same turn? You will be able to in a minute, Jim. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Dimrath walks up. You uh you see him there, and he just he walks down the stairs normally. What? Dimrath, come back! We miss you. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the drow starts walking down the stairs slowly as well. As you're someone stuck do there. something. Jim, you hear the cry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I hear the cry. I've got my portion of speed. I've got. You run through. You barge past Matea <laughs> as you realise she's stuck to the ground trying to move herself. I've got demon cock with me. Let's take out this fucking horrible blue bastard. Separate the party after we're killing big boss in here. <laughs> you run forward, Jim. You see him in front of you. You have the bolus in your hand. Yes. Lob it at him. Get him. You're gonna swing it over your head. Yep. Go for it. Make a make a d20 roll here. Nineteen, I roll. And let's see who you're gonna hit with it. You're gonna hit Dimrath with it. No, I'm the, the other guy. <laughs> They're very close together, but it uh, it locks up his legs, Jim, and uh, Dimrath falls to the ground. I guess it's okay. At least we at least we get Dimmy back. That's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the draw at this point uh, throws a throws a spell onto the ground. You're not sure what it is, but they uh, they escape into a plume of smoke and spiders. Mm -hmm. He likes spiders, this guy, doesn't he? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking obsessed. <laughs> Dimrath is, uh, is on the floor, face first, struggling on the ground. Mm. Very good. Big right. owl bear in here with us. As that's <laughs> happening <laughs> in the other room, the owl bear. The, uh, there's you two are hitting him here. He's uh, yeah. he's going to go into an enrage and he's going to swipe at you with his claws. What? Is he not dead yet? No, or he's a big boss. Dying? <laughs> yeah, but he's taking like 40 points of damage already. He hits 16. Does that break both your armor class? Yeah, yes, I've got light leather armor. Yeah, he swipes at both of you and he's going to deal... Five points of damage to Jack Ball and three points of damage to you, Daedal. And he's going to swing again with his other claws in front of him. And he's going to have 16 to hit. Does that hit you? Yeah. Who's he's he gonna hitting? Swing at you and he's going to hit both of you. He's swinging okay. with his claws in front of him. Four points to you, Jack Ball. Daedal, three points. Uh, Zug Zug is composing himself here, trying to get up off the ground. It's, uh, it's now your guys' turn in the room. All right, so if he's not even close to dying, then I'm not. Like, because I, th I was thinking I'm just going to, like... Uh... He stares you down and spits out some teeth onto the ground. Wait, the owl has teeth? It's an owl bear. Yeah, every every well, creature has teeth. It's not spitting them out. Just beat the crap out of him. Come on, man. There's three of us in here now. Did you know that geese take... have teeth? They're horrifying. What? They do. Penguins' Jeez. teeth are worse. Mm. Take him, Dado. Take him. Yeah, I'm just seeing like, because uh, this is my last turn of being big, right? Uh, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna is there see anything what... in the room that you can pick up and just smash the piss oh, out? Oh yeah, good idea. Like, is there, there is anything... a rock to your left. Is it green? <laughs> it is not green. No. <laughs> is uh, it right. rocky? <laughs> it is not rocky. <laughs> all right, so. I'm gonna scream at the uh, at the Albert. Where the fuck is uh, Rocky? And I'm picking up this rock, and I'm gonna smash it right in his head. Yep, go for it. Make an unarmed strike with a plus four. Uh, so what did I need to roll? D twenty plus four, and then you do a D four plus four if you hit. Yeah, uh, twelve plus four is sixteen. You hit him. Uh, and D4, did you say? Yep. Or D6? Uh, uh, it was D2 two either plus way. Four. So, two plus four. So, six. You are, you start bludgeoning in his, bludgeoning in his head with the, uh, with the rock. Uh, as you're doing that, he grabs your arm and manages to stop you, but he's still going to take a significant amount of damage. Jackball, what are you going to do? 
I'm gonna wait. Can I can okay. I disengage in this uh, right now after I've doing, uh, done this? Let me have a look. He's gonna roll a grapple check on you. See if he's able to hold on to your arm. Uh, roll a d20 for me. Yeah. Add your strength modifier to it. No, it doesn't matter. He rolled a natural 20. Oh, God damn it. I rolled a 19. <laughs> he's, he's got a hold of your arm. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Because, like, th this was my nimble escape. God damn it. Because uh, I'm going to be small again after this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to like <laughs> shrink in his hand. <laughs> and just shrivel up <laughs> and be dangling there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dracul. What are you gonna do? Say again. What What are you gonna do, bud? Okay, so I see he's got him by the arm. So my uh, my uh, quarter staff is gonna come down, smashing down on his where his elbow would be. Go for it. Sixteen. Sixteen. His uh his grip is ironclad. You uh you don't manage to you don't manage to break it. He glances off the blow. It, you kind of hit it at the wrong angle with your staff, if that makes sense. You wanna you wanna do anything else with your time? <laughs> no, that's gonna okay. be I'm gonna I'm gonna save uh save for a dodge if he attacks okay. me. Do you wanna prepare a dodge as an action if he attacks you? Yes. Perfect. We shall do that. Uh Trent, your turn. As the, uh, um, as the drow has gone, the uh, the spider webs have, uh, have disappeared from around your legs. About Can I go tackle Demi? He's already on the ground. He's, uh, his legs are locked up with the bowlers that Jim threw at him. Mm. Oh, good job, Jim. Glorious. Can, let's go, let's go uh, try and question him. There's still combat going on, but if you want to go question, go question. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to go question him. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, you walk down the stairs to uh, to him, and uh, and yeah, Jim. I assume you're going with. Yes, I'm going to uh, cartwheel over there. <laughs> Make a oh, dex God. check. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get? Seven. You uh, you fail the cartwheel, <laughs> and you land on top of Dimrath. <laughs> <laughs> Encouraging him. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that. Right. As that is happening. Oh god. Um He basically, Jim, as you smash into him, starts Dimrath suddenly starts shifting into random forms of random people. Oh um, what? Before eventually settling on a, on like a mismatic shade of grey. Being a tall, slender figure on the ground. It wasn't so actually yeah, Dimrath. Diced, that's why he wasn't responding. Mm. It's not actually Dimrath. It's not actually Dimrath. Uh, I'm just off my knees and No! Check, no! No! <laughs> Dimrath! <laughs> make, make an intelligence check. Oh, I failed uh... in real life. 12. 12? Uh, it's a 15. doppelganger. Mm. Ah! Yeah, it's a doppelganger. And you two are dead. Doppelganger. Um, I've got a dagger. Yep. And he's got a net, so... Go for it. Yep. <laughs> Go for the slice. That's two and two together. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've rolled a 15. <laughs> so simple of an yeah, equation him. that even doubled. Ooh. Lovely. Um, Good cast, Jimmy. <laughs> Bless you. Gesundheit. Thanks. Uh, four damages. What's it? Four damages. You botched the job, Jim. Um, green blood starts spewing out of him and uh, starts spraying onto you as it starts shrieking and curling up as it uh, as it grows smaller. No. Oh. Can I stab Incredible him again? Can I stab him again? Because I've got the potion of speed. Yeah? 
Yeah, I'll stab him again. Go for another stab. Oh, uh oh. Uh, can, can I take that back? Nope. <laughs> what did you get? Uh, maybe I rolled a nat one. <laughs> as, you're, uh, as you're holding his neck down, trying to, uh, trying to stab him oh, through his neck, you're holding him down. You, uh, you stab through your own hand next time. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to take six points of damage. Oh, wonderful. Your dagger's embedded into your hand now. Wonderful. Thanks, Faulty. G Jim, half dead, <laughs> not taking a single point of damage from enemies. <laughs> True. Yeah, True, I'm, giving myself, do, yeah. I'm giving myself two. Um, I try and stab the guy, but not where Jim's hand is around his neck, uh, probably yeah. in his stomach or side or something. Go for it. Uh, 24. You hit him. Oh, my God. Eight damage. Yeah, you start stabbing at his side with your rapier. It's a slow and painful death as he's uh, as he's dying there on the floor, screeching and oozing out there, uh, oozing out blood. Nice. He's still not this dead. This is for the glue. <laughs> he's still dead. Demon cock. What's he doing? Uh, well, he would have pecked the guy's eyes out, I guess. But seeing as he's dead, there's no point. Um... He's not dead yet. He's dying. Oh right. Well, there you go. Peck his fucking eyes out, demon go cock. Let's go. Uh, the, the the demonic peck or whatever is twenty. You hit. Yeah, I don't know what the. Uh, don't know how much damage it is. Primeval peck. You muted Jim. Yeah, I know. It, the primeval peck does three points of damage. He uh, he dies as the uh, starts pecking him. Good. Um, the the uh the doppelganger basically dissolves I into a into a blue like mismatic gray sludge, and you guys are covered in it. But uh, but he's dead. Good. Anytime you want to make an action, you are going to have a minus one to it because you are slippy. Mm. Right. Next one in the room over here, Daedal. You uh, you shrink back to normal size. The essence starts flowing out of you as uh, as the light starts coming out, and you shrink in this Albear's arm. <laughs> and uh, he smirks at you and tosses you across the room. All right, well, that's not too bad. He gets a nineteen on the roll, so he hits, and he's gonna do. Oh, roll again. Eight points of damage as you get flung across the room. Oh. You smack oh. into the wall. Get banged on. He yeah. starts staring it's you down, Jack. a lot better when you had 40 hit points, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, where are my next 20 hit points? <laughs> he starts yeah. staring you down, Jack Bull. As, he, uh, as he's starting to prepare for a charge, you notice him doing this. And uh, he's going to charge at you. Okay, so he's going to get a... He's got the... the I, I was going to say you're going to dodge, but he just rolled a nat 20. So he's, he's going to hit you, unfortunately. So. This is a cheating GM. Mate, I wish it was. Legitimately. Well, no, no, he's, but <laughs> he's, got, he's got disadvantage. Uh, he's disadvantaged. Yeah. But it's, still, it's still a nat 20. That's the problem. Okay. So, so he still hits roll. you. No, ma no matter what happens, he's, he's rolled a natural 20. So he's hitting you, unfortunately. But what I'll do is because <laughs> he's got disadvantage, I reduce the damage by four points. Does that seem fair to you? <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. That seems fair. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so he's uh he's gonna try and charge you down, Jack Ball. He's gonna deal four points of damage, and that's gonna re get reduced by four. So he's gonna deal no damage to you, but he's gonna make a grapple check and try and pin you to the ground. Make a strength check for me. He rolls a thirteen. What did you get? Seven. Seven. He pins you down to the ground, and with his bonus action, he's gonna attempt to bite at your neck. Oh. 13, does that break your AC? No, 15. Oh, lucky <laughs> you. He uh he starts he starts trying to bite at you, but he can't get a grip. He manages to slice you a little bit, but uh but not much. <laughs> exactly, nice. Dr. Funk, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, at this point, Zug Zug is gonna get back up. He's gonna see this happening to you. <laughs> and he's uh, he's gonna charge forward at the owlbear. 
He's going to knock the owlbear off of you, pinning it up against the wall. He's dropping the uh, he's dropping one of the shields to the ground, and with the uh, with the other shield in his arm, he's going to start pounding at the owlbear's face. They do you are uh, you hear him screaming, "You leave my friends alone!" as he's uh, as he's punching at this owlbear in the face. <laughs> nice. And the owlbear is knocked unconscious. Wow. Combat is uh, that's over for now. Amazing. All right, I need to heal myself. So Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, uh, um, the cure. You wounds. do all the bits you need to do. Yeah. You are, uh, you do, you do your little tears of healing. <laughs> yeah. And you are, uh, you heal up. I'm assuming the rest of you are coming inside, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a big assumption to make. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm are you also... going inside, Jim? <laughs> I'm also gonna loot uh, the big boss to make sure that to see if he has the rocky. You'll be able to do that in a moment. Um, yeah, yeah, Jack we'll all you doing? We'll, all, we'll all go into the big room now. I, uh, I'm gonna stand up and so the owlbear is knocked out or the owlbear is dead. Uh, knocked out. I'll walk over with the uh, with the uh, three clog finger grip and I'm gonna tear that fucker's throat right out. <laughs> As you're uh, as you're walking over, he regains consciousness momentarily, and uh, he rolls and he he gets his claws and he stabs them up into uh up into Zug Zug's chest and basically no. disembowels him. No, no! Zug Zug. <laughs> what happened to our NPC? Is he Zug Zug or is he dead instantly? Um, he's, he's been bleeding. disemboweled. He's, bleeding. No, he's disemboweled him, <laughs> He's got he's got maybe 20, 30 seconds of life left in him. So it's a uh, friend. I'm I'm running over to him and I'm putting my healing power in onto him, even though I know it's uh, fruitless. I'm channeling as much light uh, as I can. Look, uh, the Albert, uh, the Albert can't get his claws out. I'm assuming at this point you uh, you bop him in the head and kill him, yeah. I mean, that's what Jackal Jack was doing. Yeah, I'm tearing his throat out, man. I'm going to show it to him. Yeah, you tear his throat out. And as this is happening, like, the room yes. is filling with light, so that uh, the last thing that Sug Sug gets to see is his friends and this bright light. Everybody so can... everybody starts crying as well. Yeah. And, uh, and empowers Not just so. my tears, but I channel these tears as well. Yeah. So that's how the room gets a light. I, I walk up. Some, I walk of, up. some form of tear form Megazord. <laughs> I walk up to Daedal and put a hand on his shoulder and then begrudgingly take out the necklace and put it in front of him and say, Here, take this. Zog Zog, uh, Zog Zog's on the floor right now as you're, uh, as you're comforting him up against the wall. And uh, he notices the necklace and goes, Ah, Rocky. <laughs> as you uh, as you pull out the green necklace that you looted earlier, <laughs> she had it the whole time. Had it the whole time. <laughs> maybe it's a little. <laughs> well, we actually got this one, this way was probably best way for us <laughs> because he did so much of that mm. lifting. Yeah, he, uh, he goes over to you. He goes over to you. Uh, Trent. He goes, "You keep pretty lady." <laughs> okay. <laughs> I put it on. You put it on. He uh, he slowly starts fading away as he as he lets out his last breath, and then all the life fades away from him. Yeah, and as it does, uh, all the light uh, fades uh, in the room as well. Oh wow! The owl bear right. left strewn across the floor. Jackball with his uh, with his throat in his hand. <laughs> Lovely. Right, so does, right. Does let's have a look at the chests, fire. boys. <laughs> does, does, does the owlbear have anything on him? Uh, you search the owlbear. There's so many pockets, does he? I mean... Well, no, he, he might... He, he was putting on plate mail armor, Jim. He, he might have a, something around the belt little, or something. He has a little belt on it. And oh. in there, you find, uh, you find this note jack board, which I will PM to you. Oh, wow. Thank you. See Wait, that? I was hanging over there to do to him. You looted him before me? God damn it. <laughs> All because I got distracted by my friend dying. Mm. Well, pretend friend, but Rookie, no, friend. Rookie, are you a pretend friend? 
<laughs> he turned into a real friend. <laughs> he did, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, so I, I'll. That's something I'll share with them without a doubt. Did you want to share yeah, it with them? Or do, you want, it. do you want me to read it? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so it says the diversion in Fandalin has been set up. The groups, the group of adventurers took the bait, traded me the puzzle box. Good job, Trin. Clean up here and meet at the wave, wave Echo Caves. The Forge of Spells is open. There is a crest of the black spider at the bottom. Sign Nizar. N-E-Z-A-R. Yeah, I don't understand shit of that. I'm I'm keeping the uh keeping that letter, obviously. Friend, you put two and two together and you remember your previous notes uh that Lano, Glassstaff, had when you uh when you went and killed him in the um in the keep in Fandolin. Uh same crest on the bottom, signed by Nazar. Mm. And, and then you start the you start thinking. For? You start thinking, right? And you remember yeah. the crest that was on the Drow's uh the Drow's clothing. Same crest. Yeah, yeah, the spider. Same crest also, the person that you traded the puzzle box to. The crest was on the puzzle box. Mm. Mm. What is then, would you like to tell us about the puzzle box? You know, I don't remember much about the puzzle box. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Uh, you found a puzzle box <laughs> in the... Uh, it had Fiatch on it or something, didn't it? Or Fiatch left it for, for you. Fiatch left it for me, yeah, yeah. And it had a thing of this the crest of the spider on it. Yep, he had found it in the um he found it in the in the keep there and he brought it back to you and gave it to you. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It. What did you what? get for it? History roll, history roll. Shit ton of gold. Oh uh, I did I actually yeah, trade it for gold? Ton of gold? I remember that gave us like three ton. pieces. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That sounds realistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what about on the uh, what about out on the doppelganger? Anything on him? Doppelganger turned to sludge the moment he died. Mm. All right. Um, what um, about the table outside where Jim found his uh, his potion of speed? That's just, just a table of weaponry and such that was there. But um, so, but you you think with the doppelganger they were talking about a distraction, and uh, and obviously Dimmy being captured. The doppelganger was the one that was captured mm. and, and taken off. Mm. What what does the qu what crest mean? Like, did I put anything together? No. So the anything? the crest is um the crest is basically the mark of the black spider of Nazar. Okay. Um, you don't know why they're going to the uh, you don't know why they're going to the the forge of spells, right? But you can guess from the name that uh that it can't be good. <laughs> Okay. And they uh, they needed the box in order to activate it because you don't you didn't actually check what was in the box. Mm. It was magically bound, wasn't it? Mm. So basically, so far, uh, you've killed Lano, who was at uh, Glassstaff, who was Nizar's basically second in command, right? Um, he was the one controlling the red brands in Fandolin, and um, and yeah, you got the box from there. You basically had to trade it to. Uh, you had to trade it to the Black Spider, who you didn't know was evil at the time, who you now mm. know as Nazar. And then after a couple of jobs, the uh, the distraction was set up, and you were lured here in order to uh, in order to get away. And you basically caught the Black Spider on the way out from giving that note to uh, to the to the owl bear. Huh. But logically, you put two and two together, and the next thing you should be doing is heading back, getting supplies, and going to the Forge of Spells mm. in the way Perfect. that goes. Perfect. Yes, that's... <laughs> I told the party this. I'm like, hey, guys. <laughs> so I... <pee> I <laughs> me, me and my peanut brain, we've pieced it together, okay? They, they lured us here, and now we need to go back and gather supplies to get ready to go to the Spell Forge. After we go look at all these chests. Yeah, oh, after we look at all these chests. Yeah, we're going to loot the shit out of this place now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Lots of concussed looting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to clear uh, Jim's concussions now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... I, I'm putting my hand on uh, Jimmy. And uh, I'm saying... <laughs> for Rocky. 
Thanks for helping us. <laughs> now, let's uh, get... <laughs> the other thing that I want to do, Fall Force... Let's get our I'm reward. Gonna, I'm going to take uh, the five claws off of one of the hands of the owlbear, and I'm going to make a, a necklace out of it. It's a oh, big yeah. fuck-off owlbear. Yep, that's fine. And you would To make a necklace would be very difficult. It's about the size of your fist, if not bigger. Imagine the size of a boxing glove. How big for is its toe? What you could do is you could hollow out the inside of its uh, of its claw, and you could use it as a as a weapon, as a dagger, basically. That's a good idea. Take. We'll do that. We'll we'll, yeah. we'll knock that pisser off, and we'll hollow that bastard out. So you have you basically you would assume that you've done that when you go back to uh, to Fandalin. You have an owlbear claw. Um, we're going to say that it has a d6 with a plus six to damage, and it'll be slashing damage. And then um, any, just one of his big, beautiful plumes, just any feather that's like, that shows, obviously I got the claw, but that's like yep. a, that's a... Yeah, you, you pluck some feathers from it. Can we just pluck him like a chicken? Yeah, I'm going to pluck some feathers too. <laughs> yeah, sure, you pluck some feathers. Yeah, get plucked. I'm going to put one in my, uh, <laughs> through, through the, uh, through the, uh, what's it called? The hoodie, uh, the hood yep. of my, uh, <laughs> so, so that it sticks up one of the feathers. Nice. Did you say right. 1d6 plus 6? 1d4 plus 6? 1d6 plus 6 slashing. <laughs> very powerful. It is a very powerful weapon. Right. Congratulations on completing that encounter. You are now Thank going you. to roll from the magical item table. Yay! Ooh. Yay! Back into the room over here. There's a, there's a reason there's this amount of chests. Yes. Uh, you just get a chest. And Demon Cock gets one as well. <laughs> get in. Demon Cock gets a chest. <laughs> Demon Cock gets a chest. Uh, so we're going to start off with Trent. You are going to be rolling from Magical Item Pool E. So roll a D100 for me. Okay. One second, gotta get my proper dice. Okay. 48. 48. Congratulations, you got a spell scroll of your choosing. Any spell at level 8 that doesn't Whoa. break the game. Whoa. Sorry, what? That is a, that is a big roll. A, a spell that doesn't break the game? Any level 8 spell that doesn't completely break the game, you can have as a one-time use on a scroll. Interesting. That is, a, uh, that is a big fuck-off reward, by the way. <laughs> if you look at the level 8 spells, that's, uh, that's a big one. Really nice. Is that... Mage spell, cleric spell, any, any spell, spell. Druid spell. Wow. Any spell. Demon cock is going to be next. He's rolled forty-four. Forty-four. He's going to be rolling from pull F, so he is going to get. I mean, that doesn't work for him. He physically can't use that. Um. <laughs> Shall I roll again? It'll be roll again for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll you from... A, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to roll you from an armor table instead. 73. 73. He, uh, he gets a full-scale male armor set, Jim. Oh. <laughs> oh. Everyone can see him now, then, yeah? Everybody can see him. <laughs> I was lying. He was there all along. <laughs> he was lying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this gives him a plus six to his... Plus six to his armor class, Jim. Amazing. But with Thank this, you. you can no longer summon him or desummon him. If you desummon him, the armor is going to drop to the floor. So he's basically got to stay out at all points now. <laughs> you see a okay. floating set of armor in the shape of a, in the shape of a chicken. <laughs> okay. Who just what? happened to be in the shape of a of armor in that chest? <laughs> You never know, we'll need this, boys. <laughs> you never know. Jim, you're rolling next. And you're rolling from table C. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to fix that on that. I can't do it. Okay, right. Okay, right. Uh... 
Um, C for C nut, by the way. 60. <laughs> 60. You are getting... Uh, roll a... Um, do, do a coin flip for me. Okay. Tails. You get a wand of bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, at any point, you can use it to summon a torrent of bubbles in front of you, Jim. Wow. <laughs> Basically wow. making it hard to almost impossible for somebody to breathe when they're uh, when they're being bombarded by it. A level eight spell I, or Jim, some when bubbles. I say, Jim, when I say a torrent, I mean a literal, like a tsunami of bubbles. Oh, okay, that's not so bad then. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks. It just fits your character perfectly, Jim. Doesn't it just? Everybody's, um, everybody's bumped up a level, by the way. Congratulations. Oh, nice. Thanks. Uh, so do your sheets. Daedle, roll please. 33. You are rolling from pool G. 33 gets you. Let's have a look. You get a chain skirt. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, no one can see you because it's underneath my... Uh... Armor plus one, so you're going to get a plus three to your AC here. Really nice. You can use your inspiration if you want to re-roll that. Oh, yes. Yes. Go for it. Um, I'm going to choose anti-magic field, by the way. 77 instead. Mm -hmm. We just find out what anti-magic field does, because I don't play D&D at that higher Here, level. I'll send it in the... All right. Anti-magic field. A 10-foot radius and sphere around you. Spells cannot be cast, summoned creatures disappear, and magical items become mundane until the end of the spell. The spear moves with you. Duration one hour. Lovely. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm choosing that one. <laughs> Basically nice. got a nullification zone there. You could have I'm chosen yeah. anything you want. You could have had a fuck off fireball. You could have caused earthquakes. But no, you chose the nullification aura. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> No, it counts. I think that's going to come in handy, okay? It, it's yeah. a really, really good choice. Yeah, yeah, it, is, it is. It's not the fun yeah. choice, but it's a good choice. Oh, yes. Thank choice. you. I mean, it's a different way. It's a fuck I you didn't... to everyone and everything. For, for yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't choose a fuck you. I chose a fuck you us. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can no longer, when that is active, if you move into our zone, like you're going to destroy exactly. the demon cock or anything. <laughs> Could I kill demon cock with it? No, he no, just, no, he just doesn't summon. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you didn't need to get quite that excited. <laughs> Yeah, it's disappeared. <laughs> what did you, you reroll? 77. Uh, you get a ring of telekinesis. Oh, that's more fun. Uh, wearing this ring, you can cast telekinesis at will, but you can only target objects uh, that aren't being worn or carried. This is what telekinesis does. I will paste it there for you. Make sure you note that down. Uh, ring of telekinesis... So it allows you to cast telekinesis upon will. So if you look what telekinesis does. Objects and non worn. Yeah. And Jackball, you get to roll from the magical table. You are going to be rolling from table I. Uh, believe it or not, 33, which was my hockey number. Mm -hmm. You get the yeah, hammer of first. you get the hammer of thunderbolts. Ooh, that's Ooh. cool. You could give uh, that to me. <laughs> it is a weapon <laughs> mold that technically it. requires a le it requires attunement, but we're going to say that you've had time to attune over a couple of days as you're traveling back to it. Uh, here is what the Hammer of Thunderbolts does. I'm fucking Thor, baby. Uh, no, actually, you can't have that because you require other magical items in order to wield this, so you're not having that. You're going to roll again. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to give me my girdle of giant strength, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, if only, if only man. If only. Roll again. <laughs> 93. 93. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Let me just double check. I can actually give you this. What's your character's alignment? Uh, 
I, what did I choose here? I, I went on the good, or the, I think I went neutral good. Let me check. Because I wanted to try to off balance the party a little bit. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what are you <laughs> talking about? That's a shit ton of off balance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am an investigator. This is leaning evil. Well, you've, uh, you've managed to get a talisman of ultimate evil. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the group. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> so, a creature that is neither good nor evil in alignment takes 6d6 necrotic damage upon touching them with the uh, the talisman. Um, a good creature takes 8d6 necrotic damage upon touching the talisman. It's basically an insta-kill talisman wow. for most creatures. That's Question. pretty sick. It's whether or not gone. It's, it's whether or not you can wield it. That's the problem. If I multi-class as a wizard, do I still get sneak attack damage? If I like, yes. Yeah, I would. As much as that is a friggin' sweet item, I you would say that I would probably. Yeah. I would probably re-roll that if we're gonna. If we're gonna. Yeah, re-roll it. Re-roll it. Give me something else. We this, this is the problem with loot tables. Mm. Forty-four. Four-four. Uh, you get a sun blade. Dude, I'm just fucking armed to the hilt, baby. <laughs> yeah, you've got so many weapons now. Uh, while grasping the hilt of the uh, of the longsword, you gain a bonus action um, to cause the blade uh, to cause the blade of pure radiance to spring into existence or make it disappear. So it's basically a lightsaber on yes, a uh, on a sword. Hilt. the barbarian. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, finesse weapon. That's fine. That's fine for you. You get proficient with it, so you get a plus two to uh, to any attack and damage, and it deals radiant damage instead of slashing damage. If you hit an undead target with it, the target takes an extra one d8 of damage. Um, it also emits a load of light in a fifteen foot radius around you, uh, whilst the blade is uh, whilst the blade persists. Do you, do you want you to swap it for a wand of bubble blowing? <laughs> <laughs> Gym, dude. Mate, your wand of bubbles is fucking great. <laughs> okay, I believe. No, you. monks aren't monks aren't proficient with swords. But what we're gonna say is he's had a couple of days traveling back to Fandolin in order to uh, in order to attune himself to it. I can actually utilize fine. short swords as a martial art weapon. So if we if we retcon it a little bit to a short sword, yeah, that's and perfect. That's perfect. I'll even take a, a, a debuff on the damage if you choose. No, no, no. You can have it. No stress. <sighs> Everybody else got stupid items. You can have a stupid item as well. <laughs> Jim especially got a stupid item. I like your item, Jim. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, so here it says telekinesis creature, but I can ignore that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. You have completed this area. Glorious, thank you very much. Glorious. I guess that is the end of the stream, eh? It is. And the episode, so yep, that's it. Uh, right, yeah. what can I say? Thank you, thank you very Don't much. Don't forget to leave a like and stay fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Gotta put your thumbs up. There you go. Question. Glorious.